That's the flat earth himself, man. Oh, they about to get this work, man. Yeah. They gonna make it make sense once again. <laughs> yeah, dude. What's going on, fellow flat earther right here? You understand it, dig? Yeah, man, hosting these debates. Flat earth versus globe earth. Yes, man, all the way. You know what I'm talking about? We gonna make it make sense all the way, man. We're not playing with these people no more. Now you say, yes. Oh, <laughs> here we go. You dig, man. Yeah, we about to see what's really the truth. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, bring your bachelor's um, degrees, huh? your ABAs, yeah, all of that. Please, you know, pull up, slide my way. I'm going to show you right here today that none of that means anything. You hear me? Yeah, we're going to figure out and find out what's really the truth, y'all. All this nonsense and shenanigans they've been running around, throwing around these people thinking they all so smart. Okay, we're going to find out today, man. Yeah. About to kick this knowledge, man, you can't get from college. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, we big different rent day. They don't know nothing about this here. Oh, they gonna be so mad and things. Listen, huh? You up? Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Jump on in the box. The box is open to every and anyone who's willing and wanting. You say, bro, I love your lives. Me, my, me, me and my partner were cracking up last night. You were smoking these. <laughs> hey, man, you know, today, Ain't gonna be no cursing. Yeah, you get mad in the box and stuff like that. You come on my live, you, you trolling. You're gonna be let down immediately. If you come up and you just trying to diatribe, like we don't know what you're talking about. People haven't been in school. They don't, you know, they've never been in a science class. Like, we're not trying to hear that. State of fact. Yeah, I'm, we're gonna you know, debate that fact. And the people are gonna, yeah, choose which and what yeah, person made more sense behind what was said. Period. You feel me? That one lady literally malfunctioned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, dang. You sent the request. That's great. That's great. Okay. But, hey, did you hear? You, you get upset. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. State one fact at a time we don't need your diatribe do y'all hear this we don't need your diatribe babe come here to <laughs> stop playing bruh oh everything yo what's that the hell i see you though he said, I want to get on his live so bad, but he's not going to let me speak. Yeah, oh, yeah, all right. You know, you got to be saying the right things when you come up here, man. You know what it is. Yeah, all right. Come on. Hey, y'all, we're going to let the first contest. Let's go. We're going to let the first concert. You must him. Yeah, man. Obey by these here rules because we need it to make sense. Okay. Let, me, let me get the camera up. Huh? We'll get the camera. All right. There we go. There we go. Camera up. I'm at home. All right. How's it going? Not bad. Not I, bad. I, I've been talking to you. This is my third day talking to you. Okay. okay. And I'm going to tell you, I found out what gravitational waves are. G waves, you call which are two stars about to crash into each other. They just low, they just detected that like a couple of years ago that they're G waves. Also, mass. Mass is produced. Uh, mass produces. Oh, oh, here we go with the notes. Here we go with the notes. I'm going to call you out about the notes. I'll yeah. just let you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Gravity is made by mass. And the okay. mass uh, is... What the, mass? I, I, I looked it up, sir. Yeah, what mass are you talking about? The Earth is the mass that the creates Earth. gravity. And yes, what elements exactly inside the Earth, sir, give off gravitomagnetism for you to sir. proclaim it's inside the Earth? Okay. Yeah. Every element is in the earth that creates the earth, makes the that that makes gravity. Once again, it sir, uh, what and, can and we and find? magnetism, sir. We have an yeah. active core, uh -huh. which our active core causes yes. that as well. Everything goes how? to the center. Wait, sir. How? Because we have an yes. active core, sir. That's how, how? the tectonic plates move around. That's why yeah. we have earth. That's why we have earthquakes. That's why we have volcanoes. They're Everything not is connected. Not, not sir. leaving up to gravity or magnetism, sir. Sir, gravity uh, mag magnetism. Yeah. Oh, I just looked that up too, and uh -huh. I it, that's that's a, that's a physics term. That is uh -huh. a physics term. Yes. Just remember. Ooh, don't make me Google it. 
Huh? But yeah. I know for the fact we have gravity. How? It's been proven. How? But gravitational waves, that is, let me tell you. All right. Think about, Sir, think about one, second, one second. Can you give me gravity's existence in more than one form? Of yes. Which, yes. Means, which means a lot. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm going to tell you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Space time. Uh huh. Okay. The sun yeah. is the heaviest thing in our solar system. I'm using that as an example. Okay. Everything revolves around it. That has a gravitational pull. Everything here has a gravitational pull, even the moon. That's why we have tides. Okay. Uh, did you know, sir, uh, in the 1960, this is published by Lynn B. Wilson. Um, in the 1960s, scientists discovered a new kind of shockwave that traveled through space plasmas. The, yes. Uh, this, this shockwave comes from electromagnetism. And you know what that is? It's also, you know what that is? What you're talking about? Uh-huh. That's microwaves. Right. That's microwaves. Right. Yes. And, and photons. That's microwaves. And photons. Okay. But it's uh -huh. also microwaves. That's why they be oh, that's huh, they're pretty yeah, okay. okay. Everything's uh -huh. interconnected, okay? It's a circle of life, everything's interconnected. Yes. What I'm saying is they have picked up radio microwaves, which we use. Okay. Matter of fact, I work at a nuclear yeah. plant. Yeah, we do. Yes, we do. Uh we, you we use microwaves. About, you wanna talk about huh? micro you wanna talk about uh radio waves? Would you like to Radio, we picked it. Other planets produce that. Oh. We have picked up the planets and moons in our solar system that produce who, radio who, waves. Who prove these other planets exist? Really, dude? Yes, really, sir. Really? really? You, you, let me. Can you unprove it? We have yeah. probes that went there. We got a, we had a probe that's landed on Titan. We had a probe oh, okay. that landed on Venus, Mars. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, sir, have you ever heard of the magnetosphere? The magnetosphere. I've been hearing you talking about that. Yeah. And microwave. Yeah, and, I, uh, and, microwave. I, and I should, I, you know yeah. what? I should have came correct because I knew I got to make sure I come correct with you because I see where you're going. What? I see where you're going. I got to, you know what? You got me there. But no, wait. The magnetosphere, that's what protects yeah. us come from cosmic rays. Yes, uh -huh. it is. Yes, it could, it uh, does. Cosmic rays are electromagnetic waves, actually, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes. that's why we get uh, uh, the auroras. The that's where we get the auroras. Okay, uh, sir. Do you know the magnetosphere is actually a, a region of the upper atmosphere, extending out thousands of miles, dominating Earth's In magnetic space. field, so so that charged yes, sir. particles, yes, sir. Uh, you know, yes, are sir. Trapped. Yes, sir. That protects us. That protects us from cosmic rays. That protects us from solar flares. Yes, sir. Uh, that causes so our auroras in the south and north pole, mainly so in the I, north pole. Uh, actually, the emphasis is that uh, all charged particles stay trapped in. Every planet have aurora, sir. It is charged particles. No, I'm not arguing with you about that. that. I agree. That's not, sir, that's, sir, but that, that's, that's not the fact. Well, no, I'm not talking about the aurora field. I'm Without the, the hey, field. let me tell you something. The magnetic sphere uh -huh. is around our Earth that protects us, that shields us from the sun. Right, and all particles are trapped in. Like you, uh, you understand anything that's the charge. They get bent, sir. They get bent. That way, we don't get all of that because we get that uh, we get fried to a crisp. I'm reading the definition. It says um, all charged particles are trapped in. I'm here. I'm here. I'm listening okay. to you. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, that's you know. <clears throat> and do you know what a uh, photo autotrophic is? No, I don't. Oh, uh, you know, it's just basically other ways you can derive energy from light, like how plants, you know, get their energy. What? Is, wait. 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 Hold on. Huh. Oh, no, I got I got a lag in it because I hear I hear oh, okay. I hear an echo. Okay. Uh, I got another question for you, sir. Do you know what the lithosphere is? No, I don't, sir. Okay, okay. Because I I don't understand how it can attain to a globe or because when you you want to hear the definition. All right, I hear it, sir. Okay. Open minded. It, okay, sir. Uh, it says which means outer rocky layer of the 
solid earth, usually taking about 50 miles in depth. Now, if I was, you know, if I was just using my mind, you know what I'm talking about, just thinking a little bit, just a little bit, not too much, just a little tad bit, right? I would, I would, I would really proclaim that they were talking about something more like this, you know, but I'm just saying, this is just me thinking, that, you know. Okay. Yeah. All right. What about Mr. Hughes? You know who Mr. Hughes is? Yeah. What, what about him? Do you know who Mr. Hughes is? What about him? Mr. Hughes is the flat earther who died back in 2018. Right. Who was trying to prove his point and gravity right. took him out. And uh, what are you saying? He made his own self rocket. Yeah, what are you subliminally trying to say? Say again, sir? What are you subliminally? I'm sorry. I, I got a lag because I hear an echo between both of us. Okay. So, okay. I, how about, no, no, no. How about we do this? How about? No, we don't play the subliminals. All right. Uh, yeah. Huh? All this comes from NASA.gov. Oh, yes. Every bit. Every bit. <laughs> Literally, though. No game. <laughs> next contestant next contestant everyone okay hey what's up buddy how you doing hey how you doing i'm great i'm great man yes yes uh i believe the earth is flat okay i uh i understand you believe the earth is flat do you have any pictures from the tallest um, mountain showing i, I can that actually you can see it's the moon? okay so i can be a I can build a picture in my in all the guests, you know, mine right, let, the let, live. Let, let's go. Let's go with reality here. If you stand on the highest mountain, right, sir? No, you think you're just trying to report my you, life, sir? Uh huh. I'm asking you a simple question. Yeah. Have you ever stood on top of the highest mountain, where you can literally track the moon 24 hours a day? <sighs> you did because that, sir. For 24 it, hours. You was up there for no, 24 hours I, a day. I, for, I, day. I'm asking you. Is there? Uh -huh. All right, here. Are there any yeah. photos or any video that can track the moon 24 hours a day? Um, there, there can be, sir. They just don't want to do it. Oh, okay. There can be, but they don't want to do it. Fine. Yeah. No problem. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's 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 uh, <laughs> that's so far fetched. Not even funny. Okay. So, what's the composition of the the Earth's core? Doesn't matter, sir. What what do you have behind your gravity, sir? Um, that's I'm getting to that. What's the composition of the Earth's core? Doesn't matter, sir. It doesn't matter. It definitely yeah. does matter because not to flat when Earth. it comes to gravitational, uh, not to flat Earth. When it, com when it comes to not, gravitational not to flat Earth. fall, can you not interrupt me and let me uh, let me speak, please? Can I get two minutes? No, and then sir. You can go to rebuttal. To, I'm not about to sit here and let you speak for two minutes. Are you kidding me? Can you? Make right, so statement? you're not gonna let somebody speak. You're just gonna make statements that are just out of your... No, not for two whole minutes. Uh, okay. So let okay. How, guess how much time can I get? Argumentative. No argumentative guess. No argumentative guess. State your facts and points, and yes, we have no time for the shenanigans anymore. You guys, if you're going to be argumentative, I will let you down immediately. Please state a fact, one fact at a time. Thank you. Bye. And dissect things. Hey, how you doing? Fine. How are you? I am. Great. Yeah. Hey, I think that uh, it's kind of an illusion. There's train time. It's time's kind of an illusion if you look at it on who controls the calendar. Um, for example, in the Supreme Court and other courts throughout the world, and I know I'm getting off track, but not really. Um, there's there's different standards and weights and measures used. There, there's not just the industrial standard classifications. They have special standards. So they, people could actually, I think that, that we're pressed under glass, basically. That's what's going on with why we kind of cling to the ground or we vibrate towards the ground. So I'm, I think that it's an illusion. And I think that, that, uh, that theory of relativity kind of proves that. And it's not a force either because you can break it with speed. So, do you know um you have magnetic elements flowing within your bloodstream? Yes. Yes, and do you know the Earth is literally magnetic in itself, <laughs> and those elements are being <laughs> well, attracted why we're and pulled each down other to then. the Earth. And this is why, and how you say grounded? Did, did you know that? I know that I can feel it. 
stronger. <laughs> Sometimes and other times I feel lighter. Call it the Alice, Alice in Wonderland syndrome. But uh, I don't know if other people do, but I know that I can look at my hands sometimes and I'll think, my hands are so tiny. <laughs> that other times I look at them and think, I'm a big horse of a woman because I'm about five foot ten. But, you know, sometimes things look smaller. Sometimes I feel lighter. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, how you doing? I'm good. I speak for everyone when I say this. You're a fucking idiot. See ya. Can you prove it? I thought so. Yo, hey, what's how up? You doing? What's up, man? Hey, hey, how you doing? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, okay. I'm trying to get in. Yo, uh, man, um... Uh -huh. And uh, I've been watching your videos for a minute now, man. I know you got a lot of um, a lot of haters and stuff, but I just want to know, like, with the gravity. I don't really know too much about gravity. You feel me? But at the same time, I'm not a flat earther or right of the um universe earther. I just want to know if you you're a flat earther and is everybody else believe in the solar system and all that? Yeah. What's the what's what's the um what's the reason why? What's do it really make a difference? Because once we die and gone. What's the point? We were like, we we are flat earthers. Are we the regular earthers? What's the what's the main thing? What we trying to reach? What you feel? Oh, don't don't worry, brother. I'm gonna clarify yeah. on that stuff too. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm wait for the, my backup account to actually reach yeah. a thousand followers, so I can you know do other types of lives. Yeah. You know, get more clarification behind stuff, and it'll all you know intertwine and make sense. Believe this, you know. But right now, this is all I'm doing because this is public information, and if I do all of that right. other stuff. All the people that's in these religions I ain't gonna do nothing but try to get my account. Perfect. Right, and I and I feel like a lot of that stuff got people got a closed mind because like, I believe in both really because I can't. There's no proof to me that it's a flat Earth or it's a regular Earth. You feel me? There's no really no proof. So I'm just I try to live my life to the best. You know, what I'm saying just have an open mind to everything. I, I'm open minded no, to the flat Earthers and everybody else. You no so proof, you know what I'm saying? No proof behind gravity though. Yeah, you might be right about that. I got I got I got to do some more research on that because you think about it, it really ain't no proof. Really, somebody just said it's there. You know what I'm saying? But um, I rather I you know I rather have hope in Father God than gravity. Mm hmm. You know. Damn, that's me right there. Cause a lot of people are like okay, like you rather have hope, Father God. And I only I only sometimes I only feel like it's a God sometimes. You feel me? But I, I like what you said about I rather have hope in God than gravity because that's something. Yeah, that's real though. I just all, that's all I want to say, man. Like you, okay. you got some good topics, man. Oh, and I ain't gonna, no ain't gonna appreciate it. I appreciate all right, it, man. Brother, now, I'm gonna send you a follow, man. Be careful, man. Peace, love, and harmony. But Father God do exist. Look yeah. at that. Don't, I'm coming for all y'all. Don't you worry. I'm coming. I'm, I'm gonna help you out. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. This way. Hey, follow the backup page, y'all. Yeah, it's time for us to start talking about the other stuff as well. I can't. I'm, I'm not gonna do it here. This right here, all oh, this public information. Appreciate the love, Efo. Efo, hey man, I'm going on? up, following y'all, everything. How you doing, sir? How you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? I am great. Yeah, you're not looking too pleased with me. <laughs> me? Yeah. Oh no, nah, man. All right, so I'm no, I'm no scientist, right? But what I do is I'm a welder, so I mess with steel aluminum stainless steel all that stuff right uh -huh. so in science i don't know how to prove your gravity but i can somewhat disprove the magnets the electromagnets of your gravity and all that stuff right so okay. when i weld aluminum yeah electrically i have to switch my negative and positives just to be able to weld that <clears throat> aluminum and under no circumstances is it magnetic so, and there's quite a few other things that are not magnetic either. So how I've heard you say it before that everything is slightly magnetic, but in the field that I'm in, yes. I don't see any sort of correlation between that. And I don't know if that makes it. Have you ever been to these other land spans and ranges of terrain? Uh, no. So do you really know if them properties are magnetic or not? I don't know about those. But I only know what I know. <laughs> you know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Right, sir. Right, right, sir. Right, sir. 
So I'm not trying to disprove gravity and I'm not, I'm not trying to disprove it. Um, but what I'm saying is all of it together combined doesn't make a lot of sense. Right. So I can find flaws in everything because that's kind of what science is. And science on each specific part doesn't really prove anything to me. So I still think that you kind of have to be open minded and use what you know. Well, can to make we, let's, let's, let's let's talk a little bit behind scientific history. Let's start with the Big Bang. You know, let's do that so we can actually make things make sense and not go off just our feelings and our own opinion. Yeah. OK, well, uh, so let's start with the Big Bang. OK. okay. Well, I think okay. if you're religious at all, the Big Bang that like is a big X no no. <laughs> right. I mean. Let's start with the Big Bang, sir. What or or should I mean? Do you even want to talk about science, or should I let the next get stuff? I mean, I don't know. You tell point. me. You tell me. I mean, because that's what I'm. That's what I'm. That's kind of what I'm saying. I mean, you could take a little bit of the Big Bang, or you could read the Bible and you can listen to what all these people say about it. And who's who's but to know really you know what who wrote what? The Bible? Huh? Do you know who wrote the Bible? Yeah, a whole a whole bunch of people combined. Yeah, the same people that started NASA. What? The same people no, who I'm wrote sure. the Bible. So are the same people who started NASA. Wrote the Bible. Yes. Oh, uh, sir. Can you... Um, would you like to talk anything behind and about science, sir? I'm holding flat Earth versus globe Earth debates here. That was that's the. Do you see my title? That's the reason, the point why. People yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I do, but I'm, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. The science behind all your claims doesn't make any sense because the this science is on behind. NASA.gov, sir. Yeah, the, well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff on NASA.gov, right? <laughs> but, but what does it make also, sense? Also, NASA claims to have been to space. So if you don't believe uh, that, then you can't sense? read on NASA.gov. I'm right? going to let you down, sir. Okay. Because you can't handle it, right? What does it make sense? It doesn't make sense if you NASA has sir, posted what videos. Does it make and, sense about what I'm saying, sir? Can you get to the point? Yeah, my point. My point is, you have to be open minded if you're going to proclaim stuff like it's a flat Earth, sir, and you're you going to go what off. Does of it NASA? make sense? You're just saying be open minded. You know what doesn't make sense? You made a claim that what I'm talking about doesn't make sense. You can't tell all these people that the Earth is flat and say refer to NASA when NASA are the people that are going into space and have all this stuff. So they're proclaiming that the Earth is round. They have to tell but you the truth, well, sir, but they can tell you a them. lie at the same time. It's your job to figure the out the truth. Flat. They have to tell well, you the truth, saying. sir, should, but they can tell you a lie truth. at the same time. It's your job to figure out the truth. That's exactly what I'm saying. So it's not it's not really right to sit up here and say the earth is flat because we got the Linden experience and all this stuff. So it's not really right. man. I think you should approach it differently. I think you should approach it as a debate, not as a this is how it is and this is how it should be, because that's not how life is. Sir, what am I hosting here? Right. That's what I'm saying. I don't think that's right. I think I think you I'm should not, host no, it. What am I hosting? What am I hosting? I think, but more as. You're hosting, hey. I'm hosting debate, this, right? This is a flat earth. Everybody's wrong. That's how That's how you're doing it. No, I'm hosting I mean, debates, I, right? Yeah, it's not really debates, though, man. I've seen I've seen some of the stuff you're doing. It's not really debates. I think, I think we should be going more towards helping the human race and helping everybody come to the conclusion of, I'm hey, what is I'm helping everyone it? stop being just a worker and start thinking. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm kind of on the same page just because I'm not going to agree with your electromagnetics holding us down that's to the true. earth and being a flat. Uh, earth. That doesn't mean that we can't agree to search for more answers and figure out what's actually going on. I, I think that's want more to take control back and go go beyond the ice walls. Well, I mean, that's not really what I'm saying. I mean. I don't know if it has anything to do with the ice can walls. Present, what I'm can you present any evidence behind the globe Earth, sir? I'm going to move on to the next guest. Uh, nothing that no one's already said, no. You have a great day, brother, all right? You too. Peace, love, and harmony to you, man.
Appreciate the love, y'all. Appreciate the love. Just gotta, you know, we're gonna make it make sense all the way. How's it going? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, it's been blitz. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm doing all right. You doing okay? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, do cool. you have any evidence here, sir, behind your gravity? Yeah, the Cavendish experiment. What's your Cavendish, evidence? Of uh, do you know the Cavendish? Do you know the sir? The Cavendish experiment is actually debunked. I've done the Cavendish experiment. Like, ex- no. like I've done it myself. No, said, sir, do you know it's uh, actually debunked? In what sense is it debunked? And remember oh, that you're talking to an expert here. So you won't be able to get okay. by with any uh, sir, any sir. mumbo jumbo, sir. You yep. mind if I respond? Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Sir, this is published by Lynn B. Wilson, sir. In the 1960s, scientists discovered a new kind hold of on. shock wave that can, traveled on. through space who's, who's plasma. The sir, one second. Can Can you tell that me his did name again? Not, you. sir. Please. That did not rely upon collisions. Thus, they are known as collisionless shock waves. These shocks are of great interest in multiple fields of research. They can produce radiation that can cognitively impact commercial and military spacecraft operation, as well as the safety of humans in space. What does it have to do with Cavendish? Oh, them shock waves, sir. They travel literally and you know, pulsate from the Earth, and they can travel Cold. through the vacuum Cold. Cold of waves. space and every and any plasma and within space so how did what, the Cavendish, what did you call shock what yeah. did they call shock waves there are, these are literally electromagnetic shock waves sir can, can, can you repeat the beginning because i must have just missed it then oh I'm going, okay one second yeah go ahead this is a study it. on electromagnetism published by sure. lynn b wilson what's the university He's, do you know? Do you know what university that was affiliated with? Usually, so just says, look up Lynn B. Wilson, sir. Trust me, you'll you'll find it. You'll find I, it. I'm just not on my computer, so okay, I'll I'll, I'll trust you. Yeah, oh, whatever. I had to do some work ahead. myself to find this uh, information. Yes, no one works for you know fully free. Can't do all that. You must use your own brain sometimes to think. But yes, what do you have? What else do you have, sir? No, no. I was asking you to repeat what the like the first bit of the thing was because you were just talking about shockwaves, but I don't know how that debunks the Cavendish experiment. Oh, yes, yes. This is a study on electromagnetism published by Lynn B. Wilson. Okay. And the night. Go. Yeah. No, no. So, so, so read, read the beginning of the bit that you just read me. In the 1960s, scientists discovered a new kind of shockwave that traveled through space plasmas that did not rely upon collisions. Okay. Thus, they are known as collisionless shock waves these okay. shocks are great interest in multiple fields of research they can right. I, I, radiation I that. that cognitively impact commercial and military spacecraft operations as well as the safety of humans in space okay so what does that have to do with the cavendish experiment these shock waves sir what what shock, what are those shock waves? These have magnetic to do with the shock waves, sir. They literally pulsate from the earth, and they have a, mag- well, so, a so, magnetic effect. So they were, so yeah. in that experiment, in yeah. that experiment, they were studying electromagnetic shock waves, which is fine, but that doesn't say anything about gravity, sir. These shock waves pulsate from the earth, and you know, protrude out but, into space, literally. But what does it have to do with space? Gravity? What does it have to do with the Cavendish experiment? These shock waves are literally, or what, and literally, what causes us to stay grounded? They literally that's, recognize that's not what the, the paper po- the pulse from the earth. That's not that what you just read. Attracted to the minerals and elements in your body that are magnetic. But, but hold hold on. So so you said that the Cavendish experiment was debunked, right? Yes, due to magnetic shock waves. Wait a minute. Nowhere in the, in the thing you just cited did it say anything about gravity, about the Cavendish experiment. It was just a study of electromagnetism. And Sir, we all, like you, you and I both agree. Like, that the shock waves pulsate from the earth and go into but, the vacuum of space and plasmas themselves so, so nothing can block them? That's so, the point. so that can be true. And also so it can be true. true gravity. Sir. No, sir, well, that no, is I'm, true. I'm not disagreeing true. with you. I'm saying that has nothing it's to do with gravity. Not good, sir. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm saying yes, that, that okay. I'm sure that study's fine. What I'm saying 
is that it has nothing to do with gravity. Right. Uh, the fact is, it debunks your gravity in that sense. Okay, so, so when you say debunk, that means that it, it uh -huh. sounds to me like you're saying that you found yeah. evidence or you found I, I uh, did, a flaw in the Cavendish experiment. What's the flaw it. in the Cavendish experiment? I just read it. Uh, no, sir, no. what do you do have you, next? No, no, do you know what? No, no, I, I want to stick sir, on the Cavendish experiment. We don't need to experiment. elongate this. What do you have next? I just read it. The Cavendish experiment is all you need. Uh, just debunked it, sir, due to electromagnetic so, so shock waves what that part of the Cavendish that experiment literally into the vacuum of space and through What plasma. part of the Cavendish experiment is wrong if it was debunked? All of it. So do you, so what is the, do you know what the Cavendish experiment is? Of course, sir. Sir, can, can we you move tell on? So we can... No, we're not. No, so, because this on. is the most important thing. What you got to gravity, because okay. that's debunked. What you this is to... literally the proof of gravity, and the fact that you want to move on seems to me like you don't want to talk about it more. So, sir, you're telling me these new kind of shock waves that, would, that travel through space, plasmas, yep. don't debunk? How do, okay, explain how they don't then. So... The yeah. trouble is, is you're saying words that don't have anything to do with gravity. Like I could say... Sir, can you explain uh, how magnetic shock waves that emit from the Earth that travels through the vacuum of space and plasmas in space does not debunk the Cavendish? Let me say... Other, so so let, let me argue by analogy here, because this might make sense. If I say that the Earth has a magnetic field that sticks out of the southern the, the southern tip of the, uh, the Earth, does that debunk gravity? Sir, once again, can you prove that these shock waves that travel through space plasmas do not debunk the Cavendish experiment? It's, it's on, it's on you to prove it. You're making the claim that that debunks it. I just it. did. I, I just no. did. Can you prove it? You, you didn't say anything about right, gravity. Man, though. I've won. You didn't say anything about gravity. The study uh, that you read so, me is all about your Cavendish experiment. What, what are you, sir? What are you? What are you, do you okay, can you describe for me what the Cavendish experiment is? For the audience, I know you know it, but they might not. Go ahead. You would, no, you would, you describe it. It's your science, your field. Sure. So yeah. the Cavendish experiment mm -hmm. is an experiment that was conducted in the 1700s, where basically, and it's been repeated, it's done in universities all the time nowadays. But basically, you have two, you have two sets of a large lead ball and a small lead ball, or steel, or whatever, yeah. and you hang the large. Uh, or you hang the small bubbles on either end of a torsion balance. So this is like like a rod that's hanging horizontally, and you attach balls to either end. And then you put the large balls, the steel, lead, whatever, near the small ones on each side, and then you can measure the uh, gravitational attraction between the small and the large balls by measuring the twist of the torsion balance. So what part of that experiment, what part of what I just described, goes wrong according to you all of it sir due to shock no, waves no, all, that travel you, through the space the, the vacuum of space and plasmas so, Not, nothing i talked about involved space or plasmas right. the, or the uh, vacuum this, this emits from and throughout the earth so if you performing a gravity test on the surface of earth it's wrong um what else how, you how do you know it's wrong about? yeah how do you know it's wrong Due to the shock waves that can travel through the vacuum of space and but plasma, the shock waves travel through the vacuum of space. It doesn't. Yes, sir. It doesn't have any. We're, we're not in the vacuum of space. We're on. We're on planet Earth. They emit we're, from I, the I Earth. don't. I don't see any shock waves here. They emit from the Earth. Um, sir, what else? Can you, you like measure to them? Can talk you measure them behind your gravity? Sorry. What else would you like to talk about behind your gravity? All I need is Cavendish. Well, that's been debunked due to these shock waves so, that so come from the in Earth. Order to, in, order pro, in order to provide a debunking, you need uh -huh. to say say something that's wrong. What assumption did I make in the experiment that went wrong? Gravity what had data no did I collect that was incorrect? Gravity had no effect on anything. How do you know? That's that's what the experiment's due to these showing. Shock waves have... coming from the Earth that travels through the vacuum of space and plasmas. Do those shock waves? How do you know that, that those shock waves have an effect on the? That was the, uh, discovered Cavendish in 1960. Earth. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. What you need to do is you need to tell me how that's related to the Cavendish experiment. I just did, sir. Uh, no, sir, you, you didn't. You, sir, I so, uh, I'm going to have to nope. let the next guest up. Uh, you, you can, you can let me go. Travel, the entire chat's agreeing with me. Like what, what's being spoke upon <laughs> and about. You, so you have, to, you have to make a link between these shockwaves and the Cavendish experiment, and you haven't done that. Uh, I did. Um, I don't understand how you don't. Where, where in the paper does it mention gravity, 
or the Sorry. Cavendish experiment. Do you understand your gravity don't exist and it had no effect on that test? The Cavendish experiment proves that it exists. Due to these shock waves that emit from the Earth and travels through the vacuum of space and plasma, sir. So How do you I know those shock concrete. waves affect the lead balls in the Cavendish experiment? Sir, they travel through plasma. How does Why does that affect the lead balls? They travel through plasma. Lead balls are not plasma. Exactly. So, what so is why did it travel all compared how, to how something that can travel balls? through plasma? So how is it affecting the lead balls if they travel through plasma? So that's what's not, a, that's what's not a lead ball, ball, ball compared to plasma? Plasma will melt a well, lead ball, Well, you have ball, to right? show that the shock wave travels plasma, through lead balls. Sir, wouldn't plasma melt a lead ball? Not necessarily. Plasmas can have very low specific heats. Plasma will melt and liquefy a lead ball, y'all. And Do you know what plasma shock is? Wave, one second, sir. This do you know what, shockwave do you know what plasma literally is? travels through plasma. Do you know what plasma is? Sir, so what else do you have, sir, behind your gravity? I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep pinning you on this because you, you haven't debunked Cavendish. It's done, sir, due to this study by Lynn B. I mean, so, by actually, you know. So, okay, so tell me how the shockwave involves itself with Appreciate the lead balls. The love, Keep giving the gifts, man. The guests, the guests deserve it. You know, love, too. We all trying to kick this stuff. What'd you say, sir? Tell me how the plasma affects the Cavendish experiment. Describe for me how it happens. Be specific. Sir, do you, uh, sir, this, this is the last time we're going to go over this because it's, it's really literally, literally clear these shock waves, sir, that are being emitted from the Earth, okay. travel through shock the, waves from the Earth, with of space, sir, and Okay, plasma. but you haven't mentioned Cavendish at all. You haven't mentioned Cavendish. Sir, what, okay, I'm a, I don't think you're comprehending. No, I, you I, understand I don't think you are either. Shock waves. Okay. Maybe, maybe we're talking past let's each other. Just, let's just get to your gravity, sir. Let's get to your gravity, so it's, you're not understanding, and that's debunked. Literally, everybody just seen it. Well, um, I mean, sir, let's get to your gravity, sir. Let's get, to your gravity. let's get to your gravity. So, what is your proposed mechanism for why things fall? If you don't accept gravity, what is your proposed mechanism for why things fall? Sir, and um, during that Big Bang, they said it was gas. Hold on. What does the Big Bang have to do with why things fall? Were there flowing through that gas during the Big Bang? What, is, what does the Big Bang have to do with why things fall? Sir, were there gravitons flowing through that gas during the Big Bang? I, I thought you wanted to talk about gravity. That's what we're getting. That's what I'm talking about. Were gravitons okay, flowing so through that gas, sir, during the Big Bang? Gravitons are still hypothetical. Come so here. I can't say yes or no. No, okay. Thank you, sir. Electrons were, though. Electrons were. Yes, yes, yes. What, and so no, they, you, what you does guys, that have to do with gravity? Oh, everything, sir. And you guys well, claim there was some mass that, you know, was there or there takes a mass for gravity to exist. What What is this mass? Wait a minute. Who's claiming? So so you're saying that someone's yeah. claiming that it takes a mass for gravity to exist. You're asking what mass is? What is this mass? Everyone speaks Which mass? upon, but it has no identification. Well, I mean, this, mass, this mass is the property gravity. of matter. Yes, the mass, the mass is something that emits from, but it has no identity. Mass is a property of matter, just like charge, just like charge is. No, no, not that, not that, sir. The, this, this gravity mass, where, where is it? Yeah, yeah, there's also, but things also have charge, right? Like, you, you, you like electromagnetism, right? You uh, like things uh, with charge? You're getting sidetracked once again, sir. I'm, uh, no, I'm, I'm you, not. One, one second, sir. I'm literally asking you, sir, what solid mass are you talking about like literally specifically what like what is it where what's its name i mean i mean i i have mass right but we're talking about this mass that releases g what? waves and it should have gravitons flowing through it well, so where? so gravitons are still hypothetical so i'm not going to try to defend them oh okay um so but so gravity still not. doesn't exist okay um Sir, hold on, what, hold on, hold on. What hold on, elements hold on. that are gravitomagnetized on, on, that on. were inside that mass not, you, you, you can't gravity just, to come from? You can't just put words in my mouth. I said that gravitons are hypothetical, not that the gravitational oh. field is hypothetical. 
Okay, so so what elements, sir, that are gravitomagnetized that were inside that mass you proclaimed gravity to come Sorry, from? you cut out just a minute ago. What did you say after gravitomagnetized? Oh, Gravito. was right. that inside this mass you proclaimed your gravity to be coming from? There, there's not an element inside the mass that gravity comes from. All elements produce their own gravity. Sir, so if there's no gravitomagnetism inside this mass, that means gravity gravity is not emitting from it. And do you know your so blanket you test you guys so like to proclaim? You can stretch a sheet or gravity, a blanket. Gravitomagnetism is only necessary for specific types of gravitational field configurations. You don't need it to describe all types of gravity. It don't exist, actually. Well... I'm not talking about gravitomagnetism because I don't need it to describe that's, gravity. That's literally what you just said and did. Where did I um, say gravitomagnetism anywhere? You, oh, okay. Um, okay, um, yeah. And it, uh, you, would you like to... You can bring up the next topic. Yeah, I was... Uh, one second, I'm just putting in headphones. Uh-huh. One moment. Um, actually, I'll I'll, I'll keep going then. Okay. Sir, can you give me um? Can you give me gravity's existence okay. in more than one form? Allotropy. Sorry, repeat that. I was just. Can you uh, give me allotropy about... behind gravity, sir? I don't know what you mean by allotropy. Can you give me gravity in more than one form? Oh, okay. Um. I can get, I can describe for you different gravitational fields if that's what you want. Yes, yeah, sir. And can you give me any evidence behind these gravitational fields, sir, that are not artifact? That are not artifact? Yes, sir. Which means material object modified purposely, purposefully for use by the person that does the yeah, modifying. We can, we can Basically, anything that is man-made, you can't use. We can, we can observe gravitational fields fairly straightforwardly. We observe them um, that, when, we look at, when we look in the sky all the time. The gas they constructed do not count. I didn't say anything about gas or anything about construction. I'm just talking well, about how only, we can observe gravitational fields. The only way you can observe what they proclaim to be gravitational fields is through this compound that they spray in the air that they call gravity. Wait, what? Um, what are you oh, talking about? Um, the no, only no, way you, you can observe you can gravi measure, you, gravitational you can... waves is through this compound that they literally create that they call gravity. Wait a minute. No, no, we, we can observe gravitational waves with LIGO. Okay, and from what? What what solid object are you observing them from? We're, we're observing interference patterns in a laser. So no solid object. Once again, chemicals... Wait a minute. Are, are, we not, are we not allowed to use, like, lasers to yeah. do science? Of course you are, but you must have some solid object that you're studying. Hold on. So, so do you believe that air exists? Of course, sir. But do you have a solid object that is so, air? You know the Big Bang is actually a hypothesis. Hold on, answer my theory. question, please. Can you answer my question? We, what, there's nothing to talk about air. We, sir, do well, you know no, the no, Big you, Bang you said that, is a hypothesis theory? No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I've, I've let you direct this whole conversation. Can you please I'm follow my line of thinking? statements and facts and points. So, so you said that, we can't, that I can't use lasers because it's not a solid object that, de that detects gravitational waves, right? No, you don't have a solid waves, object right? to test But a you believe in air... And sir, you have hey, no sir, solid object that is air. Hey, sir, are you are you going to listen? Because you just literally no, no, no. said all but, that but, wrong. But so, you just so, said okay, all of so, that wrong. So what's your problem with the la with using lasers to detect gravitational waves? See, if you would have seen this, I knew you weren't listening. I knew it. I said, sir, you don't have a solid object. You can literally physically test with a laser. But you don't have a solid object that you can literally, for, for air, that you can literally physically test either. Because air is not a solid. Oh, so we just both, but we, we literally know we're breathing. But we can see lasers. Yeah, but we can't see your solid object you're testing. But, but you can't see air. But I'm breathing. So, so okay, right, right, right. So you can experience you know the effect magnets, of breathing. Do right? you know two magnets literally demonstrate mass affecting mass right before our eyes? So, How does it demonstrate mass affecting mass? Oh, they literally, you know, attract and affect one another. How do you know it's the mass attracting them instead of the magnetic fields? Oh, it's actually the electrons that flow through the magnet. There are electrons flowing through a magnet? How do you know? Yes. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One second. One second, sir. One second. I'll have your answer for you. Don't worry. By the way, are we talking about permanent magnets here? Or are we talking about electromagnets? Well, we're talking about just magnets, magnetics. Yes, sir. So, yes, so sir. some depending on the type of magnet. So, they will do, have, have you do, have you ever have you ever heard of cryogen cryogenics? I'm very familiar with cry well, somewhat familiar with cryogenics. Yes. Okay, so if you're very familiar, you should know this happens within magnets, right? Cryogenics happens within magnets? Yes, sir. Cryogenics is just the study of what happens to things when they get cold. Okay, sir. Um, do you know cryogenics happens within magnets through electrons that conduct very low when temperatures you say of heat? Cryogenics happens. What action are you describing? What thing are you describing that happens? A uh, very low temperature of heat. So magnets yeah. can be cold. But are you saying that cryo that that so, so cryogenics no is a noun that heat. describes a study sir, of a phenomenon. Sir, I say very low temperature of heat. Sir, are you listening? Yeah, I, I just you're just the word cryogenic is not being used in the way that makes sense in a sentence. Well, this is on NASA.gov. Okay, read the sentence for me. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Cryogenics happens within magnets through electrons that conduct very low temperatures. What, what's the What's the beginning of the sentence? Cryogenics happens within magnetics through electrons that conduct very low temperatures of heat. That's that's a sentence fragment. Like Sir, it's not a full sentence. Yeah, I'm, I know. I, I wrote down what need to be written down. Why would I? No, no. Write, I, I, I want I want the full the sentence. Most important. Because that like that. Otherwise, there's the Sir, verb there isn't we get sensible. The point like, I don't, I don't know what the sentence says. Magnets, sir. So, I I do know how magnets work, but okay. Right. So so hold on. This can is on NASA. So you can't can we talk disprove about definitions. It. So so when you say what do, what do you think cryogenics NASA. means? You can't what do you think cryogenics means? If you downplay, you downplay. I'm not I'm not downplaying this. I'm downplaying your, the notes that you took. Um, you can downplay these notes, sir. These are this literally there. So well, but but you just said that you dropped par that you dropped parts that you thought weren't important. So yes, these are my notes. That's what I, I, I think what that, I think that you they take notes. You I think that you took down not taking. all of the important parts. I think okay. that you dropped important parts. When you parts take notes, sir, you know you you you, you know down what yes, you I know. I, I, what I'm criticizing oh, okay. is okay. the is okay. the way that you anyway. This isn't important. Right. Well, you can um, go look at two and you'll see the same thing. Um. I, yes. I, I will. I will. So what do you think the word cryogenics means? I just read it off to you, sir. We know it means multiple things, call it and I, but um, sir, is there anything else you can bring to the table? There's multiple so, guests in the box. I, I understand You're that there are. I also understand that right no, now there's 1.8k viewers, so, and I think it's probably because the two of us, two of us sir, are in here. Sir, one second. Um, is there anything else, like, you know, that can be really focused on that's more yeah, interesting? Yeah, I, I want to ask you that. Uh, one I second, asked you this finish. Earlier. Brother, let me finish. Is there anything you can bring to the table that would be more interesting to talk about for the guests in the live? Is there anything? Yeah, uh, I, I asked you this earlier, but you didn't answer. Um, what is your proposed mechanism for how things fall? Electromagnetism, sir. So are you saying that there is a magnetic force or an electric force? Uh, yes, magnetic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so awesome. is it true that it's everything due to is electromagnetism. Do you know what electromagnetism is, sir? I'm, I'm very familiar. I teach the subject. Electromagnetism, science of charge of the forces and fields associated with charge. I'm familiar. I teach the subject. Electromagnetism, science of charge of the forces and fields associated with charge. Electricity yep. and magnetism are the two aspects of electromagnetism, responsible yep. for far more than just electricity and magnetism. It is well, the force that binds negatively charged electrons to positively charged electrons. Yep. Okay. But yeah. So, so, so what is gravity doing, sir? And it, it doesn't even have gravi gravitrons. So. Sorry. What? So 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 you're saying uh, that gravity doesn't have gravitrons. So how does it get energy? Well, there's no such thing as a gravitron. Uh, you're talking right. about gravitons. You don't need gravitons so, to have gravity. Gravity has no field. energy, so it don't exist. Oh, go ahead, it, sir. It, so you're saying that I am being held yeah. to the ground because I am magnetic? Yes, sir. There are literally magnetic elements flowing through your bloodstream, and the Earth is magnetic. This is how you stay grounded. So, uh -huh. why is it that magnets don't stick to me? Oh, you're only magnetic to a certain extent, sir. But yeah, the Earth's magnetic field is much weaker yeah, magnetic, than the magnetic field of, say, a neodymium magnet. 
actually the Earth's magnetic field is the strongest force. Here. No, it's, it's it's just a few micro, uh, micro. I think it's micro Tesla, right? It's like uh, five to ten micro Tesla. The strongest force. You can you can measure the magnetic field. Is it not the strongest force? No, it's not the strong nuclear forces. So I have the truth posted on my page. You might not want to do this. Uh, I, I'm, I'm happy to do this. Okay. Uh, so tell me about how the how electromagnetism is the strongest force and how you you, you still haven't explained sir, why, this, why they a nuclear magnetism. Listen, doesn't sir, stick they, they literally have gravity stated and written down as the weak fundamental force, the weakest. No, and no, no. I think, I think you're just misinterpreting. The there, are, there are four fundamental forces. There are four fundamental forces. There is the weak nuclear force, the strong nuclear force, gravity, and electromagnetism. That's four. The, the weak nuclear force is a different thing from gravity. Okay. Yeah. That's not what the internet says, sir. But um, the internet's wrong. Can, I have a degree. You can add your own doctrine all you want. I'm but, not adding my own doctrine. Look up. Yeah, go yeah. to Wikipedia and look up the. But the what, what else would you like to touch up on when it comes to electromagnetism? Sorry. One more time. What else would you like to touch up on when it comes to electromagnetism? Well, I'd like to understand why you think that a magnet won't stick to me, but elect but magnetism is what make makes me stick to the ground. You don't have that. You don't have that much. You know, magnetic elements running through you, sir. So. Yeah. But so then, why do I stick to the ground? Because the, if I don't have that much big, magnetic elements, you know, big, me. the Earth is. Well, yeah, but the Earth's magnetic field is like ten micro Tesla. It's very small. So get a magnet the size of the Earth and put it above you. Let's see what happens. Yeah, a magnet the size of the Earth would have a much stronger magnetic field than right. the Earth does. Okay. Right. I mean, so um, so do you know that you can measure magnetic fields like with like yes, instruments that you can make yes, at your sir, house? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So then, so so do you disagree with the measurement of the Earth's magnetic field? That it's about ten micro Tesla or so. Sir, it is the strongest force. What is there to? You can keep with? saying that. You can keep saying that, but do you disagree? It's so, so that's a number you can look up. Go Google. Internet. Go, go, go no Google. Internet. So, sorry. I have to post it on my page, sir. So, what is the magnetic field um, strength of Earth? Do you what know how? Do you know how? Do you know how the like how you're avoiding the question. actually work in the Earth? I do. I do. Uh, but you're avoiding uh, the question. Sir, do you know how mag? No, we're going to talk about what needs to be talked about. You're not really saying much. What needs to be talked about is that yes. you have no. Blitz, do you actually know how magnetics work within the Earth? I know about as probably about half as much as the best geologists. I would say, actually, that's probably so, not true. I know more than the average layman, though. What What do you know, Blitz? Well, I know that the Earth's magnetic field is produced in what is called a dynamo process as a result of moving metallic or liquid and semi-liquid compounds through the core and the mantle of the earth, not through the mantle, sorry, through the, through the inner and outer core of the earth, of, uh, of the earth. In the same way that you can have charges moving, um, producing a magnetic field, like when you run a current through a wire, you produce a magnetic field around the wire. When you have moving metals, which have charge in them, moving about inside the earth, a magnetic field is produced. That's that's what you know about. Okay. Yeah, right, that's so. that's how Earth's magnetic field ex is was formed, or exists anyway. That's how it's produced. Um, it's, it actually operates due to radiation. Sorry. Um. What? What? Why do you say that? Uh. Okay. Electromagnetic radiation, wave spectrum, energy involving electric fields and magnetic fields oscillating in phase at right angles to each other propagated yep. in direction at the right angles to both fields with a velocity in free You're, space, a universal yeah. constant. Yeah, that, that's that's what electromagnetic radiation is. You just described light. Yeah, that's actually what... What's what, the point? That's literally what we are talking about. That's my point. Well, hold on. You asked what causes the magnetic field in the Earth. I described for you what causes the electric or the magnetic field in the Earth. What does that have to do with light? This is, no, you know, just that. This isn't just Sorry. light, sir. Do you know the, the radiation is literally, radiation the radiation is, is the waves. You understand this? Light is waves. I right, okay, let me ask you a question. This is the point. How does magnetic work? They work behind waves, right? No, 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 you can have static, you can have static magnetic field configurations, which are not waves. 
that static sir it turns into a wave when the magnets get close together right what when you have motion involving sir, magnetic can you answer the question so we can get behind you know and get to the point quick I'm, fast I'm trying to on, answer the question go. you let me say half a okay sentence. that static turns into waves when the magnets can get close together literally and due to these it waves turn this into is the waves. point behind and why what it doesn't turn into why waves, no. i'm saying what i'm saying this You're is how literally the magnets inside the earth stay literally on track Wait a Hold on. And, in a, you and in a fixed position. That's, it is not, not due to what they You're, taught you're just anybody. saying words? And those words oh, don't no, mean sir. Like I'm those words mean what you think No, I'm not. Mean? I'm not. It literally, you know, says this. Uh, yeah. They're oscillating in phase at right angles to That's each what other. You are describing electromagnetic radiation. I don't right, think that electromagnetic radiation doesn't exist. We agree sorry, that which it are exists. Waves. You said it. You said it don't exist. No, I, I said we agree that that electromagnetic radiation exists. Right, but there are waves. What you don't seem to understand is that you can have sorry, one electromagnetic second, one fields. second, sorry, one second. Like, what's <laughs> there are waves? Uh, why do you keep when overlooking you say there? Are waves. What do you mean? Yes. What's waves. They are waves and spectrum. What is waves? What is waves? Magnetic. Are you on what? I'm asking you to clarify. Hey, what are magnetic? What are what are magnetic waves that emit from well, magnets? Magnetic waves only exist in conjunction with electric waves. What are they made of? What are they? Fields. What are they? They're oscillations in the underlying electric or underlying magnetic field. Sorry. Which we proclaim in the science field called what, sir? No, no, it's it's just the magnetic field. That's all it is. Radiation. No, no, the magnetic field is not radiation. not radiation no the magnetic field just can exist statically without requiring any radiation in fact that's how most magnetic field configurations behave so you're talking about the ionosphere i'm not talking about the ionosphere you're not okay i didn't bring that up the once. ionosphere that region of earth's up, upper atmosphere having a appreciable abundance of electrons and charged atoms ranging from 50 to 500 miles above the ground that's I'm not static about electricity, that. sir. I'm not talking about and, that. Uh, that's literally what you just referred to. I, I did not say ionosphere once. I know, you just didn't know the name. You was proclaiming no, I'm something not, else, but I correct the, you. The magnetic field permeates the entire universe. It doesn't just exist in the ionosphere. It, it, it permeates the entire universe? Yep. I'm glad you said that, sir. Glad you did. Okay. So what, is, what does gravity do? Wait a minute, hold on. I thought we were talking about electromagnetism. The gravitational are... field also permeates the entire universe for what it's worth. How? What do you mean how? It ex it, it's you tell, this, tell, this... tell me. Yeah, it, you got to tell us how. In the, know, same way, in the same way that space permeates the universe, other other fields, electromagnetic field, gravitational field, the strong nu or the... How, the, though, the, sir? Can you tell us how? Well. Because we literally you know they found... They found in the 1960s a shockwave that emits through space and plasmas. So what? what, what hold what? on. I thought we were off the topic of shockwaves. By the way, what do you know what the shockwave is? What is Sir, the shockwave? Do you want to stay on point and keep talking about your this here You're topic the one who or not? Shockwaves. We don't need to get into. We're not doing all that. No. Okay. Well, let's not talk about shockwaves. Let's then. keep going. Oh, oh no, we're talking about them. People know what a shockwave is. No, no. What's tell me what a shockwave is. I don't off. know what a shockwave shock is. Tell me. Tell me what a shock Brother, is. I don't know. I'm gonna let the next guest up if you don't want to keep making make. You don't want to make it make sense. You just want to talk your shenanigans. All right, buddy. I'll let up somebody that do want to make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's, it's, it's your call. It's your life, man. I know. So I ask you, what do you want to do? Do you so you don't want to make sense? Then I want to. I want to talk about shockwaves. said in so many you, words, you don't want to make sense. I, I want you to tell me what a shockwave is. Sir, we know. Have you ever seen a bomb explode? No, I haven't. Not personally. You ever? You never. Okay. Have you ever seen video of a nuclear bomb explode? Ever? Yeah, I have. I see. Yeah, like, like the mushroom cloud. Shockwave. Have you ever seen it? There it is. is okay, is, sir. Wait a minute. Sir. Hold on. So, do you want to talk about anything else that's logical that these people can actually, you know, what I'm talking about, get to get behind and get to the bottom of, or do you want to keep running in circles? Is the mushroom cloud a shockwave? Yeah. All right. So, sir. Matter of fact, <clears throat> I got something for you. Sure. What is photo autotrophic? Photo isn't that when a plant eats light? It what? Isn't isn't that like something to do with like uh, photosynthesis? 
what does it do? Plants convert electromagnetic radiation into, or use electromagnetic radiation to convert molecules of one type to molecules of another, right? No, plants just derive energy from light. Sir, what are microwaves? Wait a minute. What are microwaves? That's what I just said. No, you Did didn't. you just say no? Sir, to what, what I are just microwaves? Said? It's a type of electromagnetic radiation. All right, electromagnetic Short wave. You're right. Long wavelength, rather. What is oceanic basalts? I don't know. I'm not a geologist. It's like a type of rock or something. What does it have to do with gravity? What is MCSA? Wait a minute. Hold on. Before you continue, why are you allowed no, to ask me definitions of words? You want to keep. What do you know? Why are you allowed is? to ask me you definitions of words? Play, sir. But do I'm you, not allowed to ask MC, you definitions. What is MCSA? I don't know. You're just giving me random depth. Okay. You're asking like geology and biology questions. Like, wait. If if you can't. If you can't answer a definition of what a so shockwave is... What is the lithosphere? The lithosphere is the ground. What, which is what? It looks like what? It's ground. It's like dirt and stuff. It's the, the lithosphere. Earth's lithosphere. Yeah, the lithosphere, which means outer rocky layer of the solid earth, usually taking about 50 miles in depth. Did, didn't I say that it's it's the ground, it's so dirt? Where is a rocky outer layer on a sphere? Have you ever walked on dirt before? Once again, so where is a rocky outer layer on a sphere? It's dirt. It's literally the dirt that you walk on. I can see a rocky outer outer layer here. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You can I, see I can you can see, see a dirt rocky on the ground. Outer That's layer the rocky outer here. layer. Yeah, I can see a rocky outer, outer layer here. So, wait a minute. You just um, quiz me. You just asked for definitions but, of like six words, yeah. right? You did that, right? You asked me no, for the I definition mean, of a bunch of words? You know what these words stand for. Right, right. So, so, can I ask you the definition of a word? Go ahead. What's a shockwave? It's actually a magnetic pulse. That's not what a shockwave is, but you can Google oh, that. It really is. What's what's behind? I mean, we we can talk we, we can talk what's to the, or we can let the guests decide. Go look it up, then. Y'all go look it I, up. I, it's inducted through a magnetic pulse. A shockwave is a region anyway, of high sir, pressure. Let's, 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 I'm not about to fly these games with you no more, sir. There's more people in the box that want to come up here and have a chance. Yeah, why not? Get All right, anywhere. you can have them on. Yeah, sir, let's let's really get to some stuff. So, sir, yeah. can you give me any evidence behind gravity that what that are that is not artifact, which is a material object modified purposely yeah, to by the We've person that created it? Once again, someone created that. Someone created that. So you can't Wait use that. So, so we're not allowed to use experiments. Once again, can you give me any evidence behind gravity that wasn't artifact, which is a material object modified purposefully for use by the performer? The person that does the modifying too, sir. Can you give so me to be, anything? To be clear, your... yeah. you're discounting all forms of experiment. Is that true, yeah. sir? This is on NASA.gov. Can you do this? I, I know what an artifact is, but you're discounting yeah. so, any form of experiment. Is that true? Um, I'm not sure. NASA.gov is. No, no, they're they're not saying you can't use artifacts to make it, to do experiments. They are, sir. They say, where can they you give that? me any evidence behind gravity's on NASA.gov? Any no, evidence no, where, where behind... Where does it say that you can't use artifacts for Artifacts. Can you, sir, can you give me any evidence behind gravity yes, that is fall. not artifact? Can you things do that? Fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you drop something, it falls. What? Okay, what? That's not artifact, though. How is that not artifact? How, how is that artifact? That's, that's totally what not is, cool. What is this theme you're referring to? It could be a plant. And that plant comes from where, sir? The earth, It's right? not an artifact. It's not purpose-built. It's just that a plant. plant. That plant comes from where? I don't know. The ground? Right. That plant is literally magnetic to a certain extent, sir. The Can earth you prove is that? what? Can you prove that it's magnetic? It's magnetic to a certain extent, sir. It comes from the that? earth. You're yes. making a claim. Can uh, you prove that? There's electrons that run through the plant through the water, sir. Yes, yes, there, sir. So you're claiming uh, that everything that has electrons in it is magnetic of course sir um sir sir so you still can't give us any anything behind gravity that isn't artifact not everything Nothing. with electrons running through it is magnetic though we can okay, look at sir. this with like uh coaxial sir. cables hey sir can you give us anything 
That's not artifact. Yeah, I just did a plant. Gravity. You didn't. Electrons plants. run through them. But, but electrons don't. Electrons, just electrons because electrons, electrons run, through run through things, that doesn't mean that it's magnetic. Uh, Coaxial uh, cables have electrons running through them, but they're, they're not magnetic. Electrons don't create electrons, sir. Electromagnetism does not create electrons. What creates electrons? Ele the electron field. Which comes from where? It just exists in our universe. It doesn't come from anywhere. <laughs> Sir, it comes from the electromagnetic field. What are you talking no, it about? No, doesn't. Whoa. The electromagnetic field is a vector field. The Sir, electron field yes. is a spinner field. They are not compatible. What are what is are what are photons? Things. What are photons? Photons are the electromagnetic field. They're excitations in the electromagnetic field. Right, quantum of electromagnetic energy, sir. Yep. Yeah. And do okay. you know electrons what does that have to run do with through electrons? photons? Sorry, one more time. And do you know electrons run through photons? Run through? What do you mean? Do you know electrons run through photons, sir? Okay, what what is when you say run through, that describes people, that describes cars. What does Listen, that mean? my guy, you, you can't pick up on what I'm saying. We can't really have this combo. I'm like, asking you, you know to, to be more specific with your language. The energy, I am if you can't be more specific, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, if you ain't run through is not scientific. You can't pick up on this. I don't know what to tell you. Be scientific boy. with your language. Electrons, please. yes, may flow through. Photons. Do you understand that, this? They do not flow through Which photons. Which is electromagnetic energy. Electrons do not flow through photons. That is false. Yeah, they do. Electrons so. flow through metals. And sometimes Where do through photons the vacuum, get their energy through. from? They get their... Photons don't get their energy from everywhere. They're create from anywhere. They're That's created with however much energy they have. Or get to the point. Where do they get their energy from? They, they don't get their energy from anywhere. They get their They're energy from electromagnetic exactly energy, energy sir. Have. Photons Sorry? are quantum of electromagnetic yeah. energy. So they get yes. their energy from electromagnetics. Photons are excitations in the electromagnetic field. Once again, photon, quantum of electromagnetic energy. I'm not... So, what you said doesn't disagree with what I said. It does. They get their energy no, from it, electromagnetics. Uh, electromagnetic photons are the excitation in the electromagnetic field. Once again, they are the sir, same quantum thing. Quantum electromagnetic energy. Photons get their energy from electromagnetics. You can keep saying that. So that doesn't mean that, yes, th that doesn't through. contradict what I'm saying. Sir, it literally does, and that's why you said that. And this okay, is on which NASA. Part what, what, uh, what would you like to bring up next, sir? No, no, no. Which no, no. You you can't just say something and then change the topic. The elect what part contradicts what I said? The electromagnetic field can be static, slowly changing, or form yes. waves. Or electromagnetic yes. waves are generally known as light and obey yes. the laws of optics. Are. That's what photons are. Yeah. No, okay. photons so, are quantum of electromagnetic quantum energy. Are literally, particles of light. the electromagnetic field can be static, slowly yep. changing, or form waves. And those waves, quanta of those waves, are photons. No, they're actually not. It's radiation. Yes, yes, they are. Wait, it's radiation. Photons are radiation. Electromagnetic waves are radiation. They proclaim this radiation, sir, to be... Totally different. Runs behind okay. nothing but electrons, and they don't include photons and so, this radiation, sir. So this stuff's different. You haven't you, learned about it yet, but um, no. So, I, I sir, teach this stuff, buddy. Sir, uh huh, sir. Uh, you, so we can I literally, do. we can literally see and test, you know, these electromagnetic waves because they obey yeah, the okay. laws of optics. Okay. Hold on, can we, can we, can we come I'll, to consensus on something? Can we make sure that we agree? So we're. And not do you know um, electromagnetism is the physical interaction amongst electric changes, magnetic moments, and the electric electromagnetic so, Mr. field? Mr. Less knowledge, Mr. Less knowledge. Yeah. Can you stop reading off of Google and talk to me? No, because I'm trying to make this, you know, point here. You're, I don't know what you're doing. Sorry, one more time. I was talking to somebody else. Oh, we're trying to get to the bottom of flat earth, globe earth. You're not really taking us anywhere, brother. Like, let's talk about some factual things that need to be spoke upon. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. So if electromagnetism, sir, is doing all of this, what is gravity doing? What is it doing? 
we've we've been over this. I I think that you should let somebody else on because I have some stuff to take care of and I don't think this is going anywhere. Right. You have no proof behind your gravity. All you have is Cinderella stories. All right. Um, I think about a thousand of your viewers will probably leave. So take care. I guess. Um, no, they won't, sir. Because all you gave us is Winnie the Pooh stories. No facts. Yeah. Yeah. Now this real evidence right here. He had nothing. All you want to do is touch on electromagnetism. Talk about your gravity, my guy. You have nothing. What's going on, man? Can you prove gravity exists? Um, no, not really. Uh, I have a question right, for you. I'm going to let the next guest up. You want to hold these debates? Let's keep it all the way interesting and going, man. That is bullshit. Because that's what exists, right? That's what exists. But it was here, then there. Now keep, back over keep here. this in mind. Keep this. Keep this. What's going on? Y'all having a conversation? <laughs> How's it going, brother? What's going on, man? <clears throat> hey, so the main thing about this for me, right, a lot of these uh, pseudosciences, right, like that guy that was just in the box talking a lot, using big words, experiments, you know what I mean? He it's, wasn't getting nowhere. He just kept He wasn't getting nowhere. If you... You know, they say uh, those those who know do, those who understand teach. Right. He's the yeah. second one. Yeah. So like all these things are, are really like if you just open your eyes and stop like repeating a book, you can sense exactly. these things. You know, you don't I don't have to see air to know it has the density because I just have to walk faster or stand in wind. Upset because he feel like he should know all of this and he don't. You know what I'm saying? He went to all this school and he got these degrees. He's upset. That's the real problem. He just don't want to admit it. So he just keep talking and talking and talking. But sir, you got to. Let's talk, make a statement. Let's, you know, break this down, get behind it. And then we move on to the next subject. No, they don't do that because they know. <clears throat> they know they're wrong. Period. This is all on NASA.gov, so you can't say I'm wrong nor prove me wrong. No, nah, I was just, I just actually went there for like a private tour. Uh, a friend of mine did a video for the rover. So I went over to uh, JPL, hung out with like the head chief engineer and whatever. So I could tell there's a lot of bullshit in NASA too. A lot of bullshit when it comes to space and shit. Like I want to, I'm um, I finished. I've been I've been in aerospace my whole life, right? I uh I finished Embry Riddle Aeronautical University. I have my uh, master's from there, and but that's a science, you know. I'm actually doing it. I'm flying helicopters. I have to understand like how things work, right? I have to understand that heat makes things swell, cold makes things shrink, except for water, and and <clears throat> other like basic things that anybody would know just by observing their everyday life. The problem that I found is that when my cousins went, started going to the university, uh, first question I ask is what they, if they know what a theory is, right? So if you think of a, a theory well, on the scale bro, of I'm one to ten. People that's trying to debate, bro. You know, I'm glad we see eye to eye. You feel me? No, we're not, we're not seeing eye to eye. Oh, we're we'll not. get to your point, please. Do you <laughs> present gravity? So, a theory. Not, I don't know why you came on. The theory, like let's, like, like that dude that was talking a lot, he believes a certain theory, right? Which means he believes in consensus, which means a bunch of scientists agreed on something, but consensus doesn't exist in science. The scientific experiment isn't based on, <laughs> on consensus, it's based on sure. having 98%, you have 98% of controlled uh, variables inside of a, of, a, of a scientific experiment. You're testing for the outcome of one or the other. Right? One, of these, one of two things is true, the other one is false. A theory has way too many unknown variables to even start the test. So you could both be wrong. Like you could be wrong and he could be wrong. It could be a compilation of things. It might not be just electromagnetic. Like our atmosphere pushes down on our body at seven pounds at sea level. So that could be part of it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be just one thing. It's not always yes or no. Can you prove to us that gravity has anything to do with it? I can, because we can feel it, right? It could be density. It could be electromagnetism. It could be both. You know, Aristotle explained gravity as light things want to be with light things like gas. They go up. Uh, solids want to be with solids. They want to, they go down, right? That's the way Aristotle, you can't say he's stupid. He's the man who created deductive reasoning, right? And that works perfect. Sir, can you prove gravity is in existence? No, you can't. 
It's a theory. It's a theory with way too many variables to test and say, this is what causes it. This is where it comes from. You just can't because there's too many other things that are involved in it. So you have no proof behind gravity, sir, but I have proof behind electromagnetism. So, so if, if gravity, if gravity is supposedly on a, let's say on a spinning round earth, gravity can hold the atmosphere to the, to the earth, but it can't hold it from going up. So you have if no a lot of gases go up. I'm going to let the next guest up. I don't, well, I don't understand your point. Even getting in the box, honestly. The point is that the point is this: a, it's they're all theories, and you can't take them uh, as facts magnetic, because exactly. theories are not facts. It does magnetic. exist, but that's not the only thing. That's magnetic. why it's still a theory. But that's why that guy can't prove it. We have we have proof behind electromagnetism through magnetism. We do, yeah. Electromagnetism <laughs> definitely exists. You can you know where it comes from. You can feel it. You can test right. for it. Sir, do you have any proof behind your gravity? Because we have proof behind electromagnetism, and due to that, the Earth is flat. That's part of it, too. That's just part of it. And Earth is flat. Take care, man. Next person that come up with the troll and the things. Yes, yes, man. Yes, let's believe. I'm going to get you down, big damn. Period. Y'all have no proof of anything. How you doing? Can you prove gravity exists or the Earth is flat and our Father God is in all control? Oh, right. Yeah, man. Flat Earth versus Globe Earth. What y'all got out here? What do the Gloobers have? Let's go. Next contestant. Y'all signs will not be able to hang. Watch this. What's going on, hey, Mr. Knox? Uh, Law knowledge? Can you prove gravity exists? You doing all right? Huh? You, you doing all right? I am doing great, sir. Can you prove gravity exists? Yes, sir. Uh, I would like to point out uh, what's right behind you. Uh, what what is falling off the Earth behind you on 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 your flat Earth? What 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 is that falling down towards nothing? It's like ice, you know, just frost. But but why is it falling? What, what, why is it coming it's off the just earth? A feature, sir. Just a feature. It's, a it's, feature. Not, it's not literal. It's not literal. It's just a metaphor for it's perspective. Not, I, 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 I've, I've actually watched you for a very, very, very long time. Yes, sir. Uh, sir do you have any evidence behind your gravity? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I, I, hold on. I'm, I'm speaking. You're not. I didn't create the uh, earth. I can't tell you why it's like that. Right. And, uh, I've heard you say that NASA themselves yeah. take images of what's not the truth, correct? Have you said that or not? Yes, sir. They actually do CGI and okay. make every picture. Then, they, then they what's going the on with the ladder and with, with the everything public. falling, Bubba? Come again? I, if, if, if you have said... That NASA has messed with pictures. What's going yeah. on with your flat Earth uh, model right there? Why, why is everything falling off the sides? Once again, sir, I didn't create the Earth, nor did I create this model, and I can see beyond. I can see beyond six hundred feet of your curvature on your globe Earth. So, okay, I I I'll tell you what. Look, yeah. I, I want you to check me out for about three minutes. Huh? I've been to Dubai, okay? The tallest building ever created is in Dubai. Okay. Why is it, why is it that when the sun sets in Dubai, you can go up that big, tall... A uh, hotel. And not see the sun and, and see the it and, and see and see the and and see the sunset again. Right, because the sun is just moving further and further away from you. Because it's moving further away, or because it's setting again. It's moving further and further away, sir. Your old, imagine right, being I, on this I, continent and the I, sun is moving in a circle continuously going around in a circle continuing in a circle 
don't you think and can't you i mean it's only common sense by the time the sun get around over to australia and start lighting up australia you won't be able to see the sun no more right he just literally I, moved i, I can agree with that. you to see him 100 percent. but why can i be stationary and then move up the hotel floor by floor by floor by floor by floor by floor by floor up to a hundred and fifty floor. Right, you're on a flat platform, so the higher you go, the further out you'll be able to see. Right, you're on a flat platform, so the higher you go, the further out you'll be able to see. But sir, what evidence do you have behind okay. your gravity? Are you just trying to learn about flat Earth here? No, I'm, I'm not trying to learn about flat Earth. I, I, I know. I, you, your model is debunking yourself. Actually, what what is falling off the side of your model right now? This is for perspective, once again. Okay, per- perspective towards who? This isn't. This isn't to be taken literal. It's just. Oh, so so your diagram will it is not to be taken literal. Right, it's for perspective. It, it, it is to be taken for like fun and like, 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 like a carnival. Get an idea in their mind that the earth is flat. It, it, it is to be taken like a carnival show. It, it's not to be taken so literal, you correct? Your gravity, sir, or the globe is like a carnival show. Is my globe a carnival show? Can no, you, you're flat globe, earth. Let's talk about the globe now, sir. You talked about, okay. we're talk, we talked about flat earth enough. Let's talk about the globe. Um, okay. Yes, sir. Can you prove Love. anything about your globe Earth? Anything? Let's go. Stick to your globe Earth. Stick to my globe Earth? Yes. Talk about your globe. Let's talk about the globe Earth. Okay. Oh, uh, and I, I, I've also I, I've also heard you say how the, the North Star stays in the center, correct? It, correct, right? Sir. Do you have any proof behind gravity? I'm going to let up the next guest. I want to present their evidence behind gravity, sir. So uh, uh, all you're worried about is gravity. You, you, you're you not worried about any Can't further gravity, facts. Sir. We live on a flat earth. You, you're not worried about any further facts. Then, sir, if you can't prove gravity, we live on a flat plane of terrain. What 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 pulls you down besides uh, huh. magnets, as you say? Sir, can you prove gravity, sir? Can you prove gravity? It don't exist. Yeah, the Earth is flat. What? Well, why do you stay uh, flat-footed on the world? Sir, can you prove gravity exists? I'm gonna let can the next guest up here. Does been up here talking for a minute. All right, next guest. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. Background too loud. Background too loud. Yeah. Let's go. I'm about to show y'all this. We're going to make it real interesting, y'all. We're going to make it real interesting now. Yeah. Welcome to the truth show. Nah, uh, nothing hey, about how you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? Yeah. What evidence do you have behind gravity? Yeah, all right. Well, whatever. So, you ever been right. on a roller coaster? You have behind gravity, sir? Uh, you let me talk. Go ahead. All right. Th- thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have you ever been uh, on a roller coaster? Sir, what evidence do you have behind gravity? Now, nah, listen, I'm getting to that. Have you ever been on a roller coaster? Yes. Yeah, you have. So, you know, when you go really, really fast, it pulls you down into your seat, correct? Yeah. Do you know why that is? Can you explain how it is behind, uh, because of gravity? So, okay, let me let me rephrase that. You know the roller coasters that spin around really, really Sir, fast? Can you explain how gravity has any effect in, on that? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. You're not letting me speak. So you know the roller coasters that spin around? All right. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. No more games. I keep trying to board a lot. Yeah, okay. We're going to make it happen the right way right here today, y'all. Watch this, though. How you doing, sir? How you doing? You have any evidence behind your gravity or the earth? Oh, sir. How are you doing today? Flat earthers are winning. Uh, yeah, so I have one question that will prove all the gravity, to actually. If you're interested. Go ahead, sir. Please make it very fast or I will let you down. Oh, yeah, it will be so fast. The question is, why are you being disrespectful and jumping into people? All right. Sense? Take care, sir. You have a great day. 
They have no proof behind their gravity. As y'all can see, we're not playing any more games with these people. Not at all. Period. Y'all want to troll me? Troll. We're going to see what's happening for real. Do you have any proof behind your gravity, sir? 206, 207. Sorry, I was just counting all the hours. All right. They have no proof of gravity. So you think the Earth is flat? Yeah. Hey, do you have any proof behind gravity? Um, yes, I do. But you you are just going to kick me when I start explaining myself. No, sir. Just if, like you you start, if you yeah. start speaking upon gravity, oh. I'm not, sir. Go ahead. No, I mean, it's just, I know you're going to kick me because you get mad when people start to debunk you. Like that guy. Listen, are you gonna, sir, coaster. you have five seconds to bring up gravity? Five. Get some bitches. Thought so. Told y'all. We're going to make it We gonna make it really happen today. No more playing that game. Not playing no more games with these people, man. Hi. Hey, Mad Gloobers. How you doing, sir? You have any proof behind gravity? Well, what I tried was while driving with my daughter, I threw something in the car to see if it'll just go back or it'll fall down. How did, how did that prove gravity, sir? It fell down. How did that prove gravity? I felt like driving in the car created its own field, gravitational Earth field. Flat, y'all. Earth is flat. And Someone it just went down. Earth and is then flat. also the um the sun thing, the people in Alaska only get like an hour of darkness. There's actually two suns. Oh, okay. My bad. Posted on my page. My my bad. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know that. All right. So the balloons. Like, if you put a balloon, just let it go up in the air. Doesn't that kind of proof? All right. All right. Let's go. Yeah, I got the video on my page, y'all. It's two suns. Matter of fact, let me show y'all real quick. Yo, question. So, what's your definition of electromagnetism again? Two suns, y'all. One moon. You know what I'm talking about? Two suns, one moon. Earth is flat. This is how they always had people believing the Earth was a ball. Yeah. So what's your, what's your definition of electromagnetism again? Sir, do you have any proof behind gravity, sir? Yeah, I do. Can you please It kind of works right. right Thank you. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's your definition? Because I need to... All right. Next guest list is long. Yes, yes, yes. Hello? Y'all don't got no proof. My live ain't going to be too much longer anyway. That's why I'm really doing this, though, y'all. Yes, sir. Do you have any Hello? evidence behind gravity? Yes, yes, sir. What evidence do you have, sir? Ah, uh, your shit can't. You're telling lies. Your shit can I uh, buy it. All right. Y'all have no proof behind gravity. I told y'all, it's Flair Earth. We out here, man. We out here. We are doing this. This is, yeah. Done with. It's done. How you doing, sir? You have any proof behind gravity? Oh, you muted your mic. Okay. Let's go. Told y'all, man. We're proving it the real way, true way. Uh huh. Yeah. Hmm. Sheesh. They have nothing. They have nothing. I'm about. A hey, matter of fact, y'all. Hey, I'm gonna restart the live real quick for us. Oh, but okay, that's that's hard. I like that. Oh, man. Hey, how you doing, sir? You have any proof behind gravity? Yeah. <laughs> and how do you explain that to be gravity? Oh, it's because it fell down. You have a great was... Earth is flat. Earth is flat. That's all y'all got. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Hi, how are you? Hi, today, um, can you let's talk about your scientific method behind gravity? Okay. Do you know it? So, Do you know yes. the scientific method behind gravity? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. You can start. Okay. So if you have an object, say a tall object, and if you start walking away from it, do you continuously see it or does it disappear off the horizon? Hmm. Sir, that has nothing to do with your gravity. I'm going to have to let you down. I'm sorry. Um, How you doing? Do you have any scientific proof behind your gravity? Yeah, I do. I do, actually. Oh, right. But but first of all, can we talk about your flat Earth theory? Sir, okay. if you don't have any scientific proof, there's... Oh, no, no, gravity, gravity, and... gravity, 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 gravity. Yes, right. present your gravity. Me. All right, cool. So, spin, so, think about, like, a basketball, right? You spin it around on one finger, okay? And it creates, like, a, a force within the basketball, correct? Which holds things to it. 
okay. explain how it's gravity, sir. Oh, I'm gonna have to let you down, sir. Focus on your gravity, not the explain your gravity. You look like balloony out of Phineas and Ferb, bro. I don't know why you're trying to fucking talk to me. Shut your mouth. All right. Explain how your gravity is in existence. Does gravity exist? None of these propelling to be very intelligent people can prove gravity exists. You're fucking joke, fam. You're fucking stupid. Fucking All right. Yes, we are. We just, hey, hey, we we are in the lead, y'all. We defeating them. We defeating them, man. Huh? Oh, yeah. They big mad. Stay mad. What y'all gonna do? What are y'all gonna do? Uh, all right, well, real, real quick. You cannot debunk science while you're on devices that science created. Sir, do you have any scientific you evidence behind your gravity? You debunk everything on devices that you're using right now that was used to create. Science did not create, create these. The cell phone is actually older than what you, you know. It allowed cell phone you to is be older this than what thing. You, know. you cannot debunk science. The cell phone is older than what you know. So, But the plasma and all that stuff, magnetism, electrons... What? You debunked so you have all that stuff. Your and that stuff is what allowed you to be what you are today. You're not making any sense about much or nothing. Right the raving. Y'all have any evidence behind your gravity? I'll turn my live off and reboot right now. Hey, hey, hey you hear me? Okay. People up in here, man. Hey, gravity. So, so, so uh, gravity is, is, uh, is uh, actually a phenomenon. Okay, sir. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's so, so, uh, um, yeah, the, the honest answer that no one is trying to tell you is that gravity is not uh, provable. Uh, gravity, by definition, is just the word we use to explain that two forces uh, attract each other. So, so there is no such thing of gravity. No, right? so that's gravity every, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's unprovable. We just use that word to say that two uh, objects attract each other. That's, that's the most objective thing we can say and that's also everything I, I i can say with my knowledge i understand, I understand. okay yeah, yeah. I, all right i'll feel you bro i feel you oh, yeah have a good night man have a good night man bless blessings to you too man peace love and harmony to you you too man you too. No, that's honesty right there i respect it i respect it okay you know can't do nothing but respect honesty Was very honest. Hey, buddy, what's up? What's going on, sir? You have any uh, evidence here for us, sir, behind gravity? Oh no, I've been listening. I just, um, I was just curious. Is this like an experiment you you doing? Yeah, you writing like a thesis? I'm a flat earther, sir. Go check my page out. If you want to come up here? And no, I've seen your page. And I, no, while I'm on live, I will let you down right now. I know you yeah, you're gonna kick me. It's all good, man. Page, kick me, because you have no proof. You're nothing but a troll. You're always all over my page. What evidence do you have? All you do is troll my page. No, Why you're trolling. You my page? Like, you're trolling you people. My page? You have <laughs> trolling your page. I love the projection. I love the facts. All you do is troll my page, bro. Why do you do this? Prove to me that gravity doesn't exist. Can you prove it? Do I just did? Prove it's electromagnetism. Why do you troll me so much? Stick bro? a magnet to a plant, sir. I'll give you a million dollars if you can stick a magnet so to a plant. And you can never come with evidence. <laughs> Dude, Why? you're clearly just trolling people. You're trolling right now, my guy. I'm on live. I'm a flat earther. No, I'm asking you honest questions. Like, You've is this part page. of a thesis? You know is this part I of like a research thing you're doing for page. school? Why or what? do you constantly troll me? Why? Money. Yeah, this, yeah, you're, just, you're doing this for no, money? Seriously, though, bro. Why do you constantly troll me? And why are you, con you trolling me? You better just like <laughs> harass me. You know this, right? You know that? Harass me? You know that? You didn't have to invite me into your live, man. Sir. I want to know, sir, why are you're you... are accusing me of harassing you? That is hilarious. Me, sir. And there's so many of y'all that's doing this. Why? <laughs> I want to know, bro. I'm serious. Hey, man, why are I'm you just asking this? you some questions. I'm, I'm surprised I lasted this long. You, think, you might think this is a joke. I'm not playing with you. It is a joke. And for all of you others that this constantly harass joke. my page, you know what I'm talking about? You're constantly harassing my lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all recorded. So I hope you know that, too. Um, yeah. Dude. You are a great actor. Why, I would say that. Why, sir, why are you harassing me so much? It's pretty funny. I want to. Do you have an answer? You don't have no answer. I'm not harassing you. What are you proclaiming to be, sir? Uh, I'm not proclaiming to be anything. Then why I'm just are asking you questions, man. Be trolling my page and jumping constantly every trolling time your I'm page live and saying nonsense, never bringing evidence. That's harassment. 
It is not harassment. I am not on your page constantly. This is like the second time you've had me on live. The last time I was on, you shut your whole thing down because I proved that electromagnetism doesn't work (laughs) the way you think it does. I'm tired of seeing you in my chat saying all this nonsense. Then block me, dude. If you're tired of seeing me, then block. You know, right now, don't don't by all means me again. Do you hear me? This is your first and only warning. Don't ever and all the rest of you trolls don't harass me ever again. No more. Letting y'all know this. You Dude, did you hear that, sir? How am I harassing you? Please you explain. Take care, man. Yeah. Y'all gonna get this work. You gonna make it make sense. Your mom is so fat, she got her own gravitational force and attracts uh-huh, dick. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Got some for y'all. Gonna make you stay awake. Everybody that need to hear the message gonna get it. Period. Uh, so, um. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, I'm here to actually answer your question. Uh-huh. Yeah, guys, so what's your question again? Does gravity exist? Yes, sir. Does gravity exist or the Earth is flat? Oh, I can prove it. I can prove it to you. Ready? So, how did your how did your dad drop off of the face of this Earth? Yeah, thought so. Earth is flat. We big in the lead. They ain't got nothing on us. Nothing. Y'all done. Y'all done. Done, bro. Yo, what's going on, man? How you doing? How you doing, man? You have any proof behind y'all gravity that y'all proclaim to be in existence and holding everyone down? Yeah, for sure. But, bro, can I say something real quick, bro? You know the video on your page, right, bro, when the water was flying in the backyard? <sighs> yeah. The man so when you watched the Superman, like so when you watch the Superman space, movie, did you think like Superman can fly? Thing. You talking about that? So How when you watch the Superman tough. movie, did hey. you think he can fly? Boy, tell me how dude was jumping on his trampoline, proclaimed he was in space, proved to y'all space is fake. Now you mad, man? Come on now. Come on, buddy. Yeah. So you have the question, you're posing the question of does gravity exist? Can you yes. prove that it doesn't? Yes, because it doesn't. Can you prove it do? Can you prove it do? If you can't prove it do, what, what, what do I need to prove, miss? What is your proof that the Earth is flat? Oh, because gravity don't exist, and you can only exist on a sphere due to gravity. So, so, so you're saying that the Earth is flat because gravity does not exist? That's your argument? It don't exist at all. So is that your argument, though? No, and I can literally see beyond your proclaim to be curvature. What's going on with that? Say that again. I didn't hear you. Oh, I can see beyond 600 feet of proclaimed to be curvature of the earth. How is that possible? Because the earth is round. Miss, I said I can see beyond 600 feet of curvature that's supposed to be implied in the round. The earth earth. is too large. That's why it seems to be flat. There's an earth curvature calculator on the internet did you ever get taught to never tr- to not trust everything you see on the internet oh don't try to run from that don't run from your science now what <laughs> you can't prove any science you have no science saying that the earth Due is flat to the earth curve calculator if you put something on the ground drive 30 miles away it's supposed to be beneath 600 feet of earth curvature but you can literally pull out the telescope and zoom in on that item how is that possible? Um, There's no proof for that. Because the Earth... Is there anything uh, you have? You were saying earlier that you were using NASA for all your facts. How come NASA... Yeah. If you trust NASA so much for all the gravity, how come they you don't trust them on the, the fact truth, that they're... And, but they can tell you a lie at the same time. It's your job to figure out the truth. What else do you have for and behind your gravity? What do they gain by telling you lies? I don't know, sir. Go ask them. What, did, what, else, what proof do you have behind gravity? How how do you a pen, how does a pencil fall whenever you, uh, you drop it? Oh, you said you were pencil. saying you were it's saying pencil. it was electromagnetics that Sorry, make you. Pencil. You were saying that it was the electromagnetics whenever you Sorry, slow uh, down. Did you just mention a mention a pencil? Yeah, whenever you drop a pencil, how does it fall? Right. Do you know where that pencil come from? What? What does that have to do with anything? Where does the pencil come from?
Hello? I don't understand what your question is. Explain. Okay, what does a pencil come from? I'll re-elaborate. Where does a pencil come from? That's not re-elaborating. You're just repeating what I you know, said. I it's, know. It's basically nothing else you can really say. The uh, Hello. Uh, yeah. How is a pencil created, sir? How is a pencil created with wood and graphite? Right. Where does that come from? The earth. So that pencil is what? So you're saying everything that is made on the earth is automatically attracted to the earth? Yes, sir. It's, everything is literally magnetic to a certain extent. <laughs> that doesn't mean that the earth is round. That 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 theory wouldn't Right, hurt. it doesn't. It means it's I'm sorry, flat. I said that backwards. That that oh, theory okay. doesn't mean no, that the earth right. is flat. No. You said it right. No. Huh? Oh, okay. Uh anything else? You can't prove or wait. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. You keep on turning it around on people telling us to prove that you that the earth is round and prove gravity because but you can't prove that it turn is around. flat. People it doesn't turn my have father gravity. God around on people that believe in my father God won't they you know they come up and they say prove God exists. What's the difference? Because there's a difference between faith and actual science. This is a faith, literally. So you have faith that the that gravity doesn't no, I'm exist. Your science is a faith. Well, science is fact. Oh, is it? Okay. It, Do you it, know the Big Bang I, is actually I, a hypothesized theory? I'm sorry, I did not mean to say faith. It is a difference between religion and No, one fact. second, sir. Sir, one second. Back to the lady. Miss, do you know uh, the Big Bang is a hypothesized theory? So how can science be fact? The Big Bang theory the, is how... Yeah. That's how... That's the theory on how the whole entire universe was made. Not right, just... Hypothesized Earth. as well. Um, go ahead. Still there? Yeah. I'm oh. just trying to think on what you're yeah. trying to ask me. Oh, I, I didn't ask you anything. Okay, so yeah, the what you're saying is that, uh -huh. it, the okay. Do you believe that Earth is flat, and that's just a belief, or do you think that's factual? Factual, sir, because you have nobody have evidence for gravity. Do you have evidence that there is no gravity? Yes, because there is none. Where's your evidence? Uh, I, can, uh, I can say the same thing, saying zero, that I can prove there's, there's gravity because gravity, there is gravity. So, oh, electromagnetism is my evidence. Not everything in the entire world is magnetic, though. What's not? Living things. Like that other guy said, try and stick a magnet to a plant. Everything is magnetic to a certain extent. So then why would certain things not be elevated more than others if they don't have as much magnetism. What do you mean? Well, you said if everything oh, is magnetized. You said why? You said why? You said if everything is magnetized to a certain extent Wait, one and that slow that down. is what's holding everything to Miss, the earth. Miss, Miss, did you say why? I, I said to you. Uh, Miss, did you just ask a why question? Is my, did you ask a why question? Are yes, you, you did. I cannot tell you light? why behind anything because I didn't create Earth, so I can't tell you why. But um, no, you said that you, that everything is magnetized to a certain extent, which is what is yes, holding. But I can't tell you it's why. the Earth, correct? I can't give you the why answers, though. Correct. Yes. Okay. So uh -huh. then, if that's true, yeah. Then why would there not be people I don't know why. and? buildings and plants why, at different elevations I don't know why. if there I is more or less magnetism. Why. Okay, you're saying you can't answer why questions. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, either. so why do you so expect you other people to answer why Earth or gravity does not exist? Come again? You're saying you can't answer why questions, so why are you expecting other people to answer why gravity does not exist? Oh, because man implied gravity. Did anybody here create the earth? All right. So you're saying men or just human beings created gravity? Yes. Implied it, you know. 
claimed it. So you're saying that gravity is just <laughs> what you think. Awesome. You're saying gravity is just a word that they use to define what Do keeps you, you on the you earth. Do you have any proof behind that word? What word? Gravity. Do you have any proof behind what makes blue blue? Magnets, yeah, magnets. Magnets makes the color blue. Oh, you say a blue. I thought you was about to say electromagnetism. Uh, magnets uh, is my proof behind electromagnetism. Uh, the color blue. Are you, what? Anyways, um, do you have any uh, proof behind your gravity or Earth is flat? Um, yeah, no more than you do. It, it's it's so, on, honestly, I feel like it's that debunks and proves we can stick. No, to it the doesn't. Ground. I want to second this. Electromagnetism literally proves we can stick to the ground without gravity. So. So you you said you think that there's two suns, right? Uh, yes, yes. But what about your gravity, though? What about the two suns? Oh, you oh you scared of gravity now? I'm sorry. We, what? We just believe that you we're not really getting anywhere with, with you, so we're just I, trying to. I just want go. to keep debunking you. You haven't debunked anything. Oh, okay. Why do you why do you think there's two suns? Oh, because there is. You ever heard of Nemesis? They actually taught you this. Ever heard of what? You ever heard of Nemesis? The sun's hey. twin. This is oh, okay. So they so you do know there's two suns. They they did teach you that. Now you remember. Okay. Um. Uh, anything else? I don't remember them ever teaching me two suns. No, I never said that. Oh, okay. So you never heard of Nemesis now? Nope. Explain. Oh, all right. Uh, what they taught you about, I mean, what they told and taught kids about nemesis, you know, elementary science class, they said it was a sin, son's twin, and it literally went to a whole other location, which it did because it used to be over here, and now it's just over here. So, you know, it went to a whole other location. But anything else? <laughs> Miss Jamie? No. Jamie? Well, why are you laughing, Jamie? <laughs> this is just yeah. comical. We'll just, oh. we'll just leave you to your beliefs. That's fine. Um, no, this is NASA doc. Go. See, that just goes back to the thing. You believe NASA. What? You believe NASA about those facts. How can you only believe half the facts? What do you mean? You what believe NASA the about facts? the facts. What other facts? You're reading, you you're reading an article well, wait, on sir, NASA. Sir, wait one second. What other facts do you think I should be uh, believing? The fact that NASA thinks the Earth is round and you think it's flat. Oh, no. See, that's not a fact. Because the Big Bang from the jump, uh, from their whole creation of their world is a hypothesized theory. So I can't follow or believe that. So Your your theory is also kind of hypothesized unless you can go up in a space shuttle and actually see the Earth for yourself. Well, actually, sir, my facts are actual facts. These are not theories. So do you know... Do you know anything about the gravity yourself, or are you just reading it off the article? I don't exist. What's there to know? <laughs> if it okay, if it doesn't exist, how come NASA is trying to believe make you think that it does? Uh, you gotta ask them. How am I supposed to ask them? I don't know. I think I'm losing brain cells from this conversation. Oh um, You're gaining more. No. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, but so, um, what's a black hole? What does a black hole have to do with the I'm flat? Just asking, if y'all, I just wondered. I was just, I just threw that out there. Oh, um, yeah, just an absence of space. Oh, uh, actually, it's a theoretical concept. So, do they even exist? They do. They actually got a picture of a black hole. How? Oh, that was actually generated through a D wave computer, quantum computer. But uh, never mind. Um. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so. Yeah. Uh -huh. what, yeah. What do you What do you keep looking at? Oh, I got my notes. The, he's get, He's got the uh, notes from the article. Yeah. Or no, no, it's not an article, sir. These are literal, factual. Yeah. What? What? These are just factual. because you wrote it down doesn't make it factual. Oh no, it came from NASA. Yeah, oh well, uh, that doesn't make it factual then either, oh, right? Oh, oh, okay. According to you, if NASA is oh, incorrect about some of the well, stuff, how I can you know NASA's with? I can debunk all the globe things that's going on with the globe. So, um, do y'all know what the uh, magnetosphere is? 
explain what is the magnetosphere? Oh, it's a region of the upper atmosphere extending out thousands of miles, dominating the Earth's magnetic field so that charged particles um, be always and stay trapped in. So whatever made it out. Okay, hold on. Um, uh, yeah. What, explain the northern lights to me. Do you know what causes northern lights? I didn't create them. I, I don't. Okay. So the northern lights is created by a solar flare, which the sun creates, and it's going just past the top of the Earth. If oh, the Earth okay. is flat, how is it possible for it to oh, you're go You're talking over about the aurora. You're talking about, okay, the aurora. Light. The aurora borealis, uh, yeah. Yes, uh, actually, that emits from the hollow Earth entrance. Um, <laughs> if the Earth is flat, how could it be hollow? It's flat and literally hollow, so in layer sir anything else what's in between that space what do you i don't I just mean, you I, said I the earth been, is flat oh, I haven't been, yeah i haven't been down there though i don't yeah i don't like dark places like that uh <laughs> exactly you've never been down there so how have you been up to be able to like know that the mean? earth is flat oh i am up i'm right yeah i'm, I'm standing on up but huh Hello. I'm just trying to. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll we'll let other guests come in. Oh, all right, all right. You have a good day. You have a great day as well, Jay Lee. You have a good one. You too. Yes. We got a. Hello. Hey, uh, how you doing? How you doing? Doing good. Thanks. All right. All right. Um, would you like to talk about gravity here today, sir? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, is there anything you would like to present about or behind your gravity? Yeah, sure. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, I see things falling to the ground. Okay. Right. That's, yeah. that's gravity. Or right. can you tell me it's not? Um, yeah, I can. It's not. Um, can you prove it is? Okay, since it's not gravity, then what is? Oh, electromagnetism. It's all doing. Okay, it. since uh, it's, it's since yeah. you say it's electromagnetism, uh -huh. yeah. why it it affects me to go down to Earth, but not the sun or the moon to come down? Oh, on I, Earth? I I didn't make us or the sun and moon. I can't tell you why, but I know so, you got okay. magnetic elements running through your bloodstream and the earth is magnetic itself and yeah, it, it attracts you. But So why I'm not attracted to plants or, or other human beings? Well, you, you're only magnetic to a certain extent. So, yeah. You, you, so, okay, uh -huh. since I'm magnetic to a certain extent. Yes, sir. Okay, then... If I'm different magnetically from other stuff, other people, right? Since no, you're just magnetic. that's what we're saying, right? No, you're just magnetic to a certain extent, like everyone else. You're not different. Magnetic, magnet, man, magnetic force, and you're pulled the same to the earth. That's what we're saying. Uh, no, I said there's uh, magnetic elements in, in your bloodstream and your, uh, you know, that makes you literally attract towards the ground because the earth is magnetic as well. Yeah, but why, since those elements are the ones that are electromagnetic and are attracted yeah. to her, why those elements are, aren't the one that only goes from my body to the ground and the rest of my body try to float up? Uh, I don't, you, uh, sorry, you, I don't think you'll survive. I'm going to let the next guest up. Whoa. Uh, yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't think that'll be uh, healthy for you in any type nor sort of way. Sheesh. Oh, my. All right. Uh, hey, how you? Hey. Yo, hello. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? I'm good, bro. I'm good. All right. All right. Uh, you have any proof for us behind uh, this pro? Proclaimed to be gravity. Hopefully, you don't get me off early. 
Uh, uh, no, uh, I'm just trying to see if we can get to the bottom of gravity. Okay. Uh, yeah. First off, let me start by saying you are correct, but you're also you're also kind of off a bit, you know, because not only does electromagnetism contribute to uh -huh. people staying yeah. on the surface, right? But there's something there's something called centrifugal force, right? You know that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the, the because of the ro because of the rotation of the planet, uh -huh. humans are actually uh, also kept to the ground. Oh, okay. But uh, the, yeah. the, there's a theory stating right that objects in free fall don't experience gravity. You said they say that one more time, sir. Objects in free fall. Do not experience gravity. Well, nothing does, sir. I mean, go ahead. <laughs> but um, yeah. another question to really cement what you're saying, right? Uh, do you know how magnet is made? Yes, yeah, sir, through magma. No, uh, the, way, the way magnets are made industrially is they use ceramic, right? And uh, with this ceramic industrial, oh, okay, yes, industrial. I thought yes. you were talking about the natural. But difference. what I'm saying is that yeah. the magnetism that we are uh -huh. is not the same as the industrial magnetism. Right, because it's it has it, it has to do with on an atomic level with the the um the yeah. but the protons know. the yes. protons and the ele the electrons. But it has know, to do with the electric. You know that's industrial. Pardon me? You know that's industrial. But we we, we all have electrons. Oh, I'm let Everything has electrons. electrons. You're talking about industrial magnets, so you gotta elaborate on that though. We must elaborate on the industrial magnets. We gotta keep it interesting, y'all. Let's go. But why did your dad leave you? Come again. You can't answer my questions, but why why did your dad leave you? So I can barely hear you. I said, you can't answer the why question, so why did your dad leave you? Uh, I know. I, just, I can't, <laughs> can't struggle having a conversation. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I can't do it. And I must be able to hear you loud and clearly. Uh, you know, we got to make it make sense, y'all. We keeping it lit. Let's go. Oh, all right. You didn't want to come on in? All right. All right, man. You know? Yeah. Let me see. Let's see if we can find somebody that might actually want to come up here and talk about their gravity. Let's see, y'all. We can find someone that actually want to. Yo, what's up? I, I didn't. Oh, yeah, hi. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, so you know when you throw a ball up in there, it, it uh, goes back down, right? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So when we send uh. Or space rockets into space. They need a lot of force to get sure. out of the atmosphere, right? Sure. Yeah. Did you say send a space rocket into outer space? Yeah, like space, like into orbit. Uh, sir, uh, have you ever heard of the magnetosphere? Yes. You have. So, what's make what what object made it through? The rocket, yeah, the rocket. Or I don't understand what is your. And do you know what what's you above? Okay. And do you know what's above the magnetosphere? No, uh, can you tell me that? I don't think it. Uh, do you, Do you know what's above the magnetosphere? I, I just don't think it's quite safe for anything to try to. They call this the chaos layer. Um, they say this have yet to be speculated. Okay, wait. So you don't believe that we have been into space or like in orbit, like rockets? Um, no, it's, I don't even have to even not believe because uh, NASA.gov has say they have yet to speculate the chaos layer. So uh, no, yeah, but I'm like, so you don't believe we have satellites or space stations? They told me they haven't. Yes, sir. So you don't believe that we have uh, space station satellites and stuff like that? Um, no, not that, sir. It's just that uh, NASA actually told me they have 
you know, test or ponder around the chaos layer. So I don't, you know, they told me this. So Okay, okay. So uh -huh. if we don't have satellites, how are we talking right now? Yeah. You, you know, we do. So that you doesn't know, make sense. No, John that doesn't make balloons. sense. But yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no? Oh, you, uh, just because you say no, no don't mean no. Go, yes, go ahead, though. Bro, we are talking like on a live now through like satellites. That's how we're talking like through satellites. That's how right, all this is like, possible, right? Balloons that point, uh, you know, they're bro, laser, they, they're bro, laser we have satellites. Explosive. We have spaceships. We have people in space you right know now. How the satellites actually work. You know, they literally beam their signal to a tower, and that tower gives off its signal to any satellite that is uh, beaming at it from a home on top. Yes, of the world. so. Why are you saying that we don't have satellites? I don't understand. Oh, no, we do. They're just not in what you proclaim to be space. Okay, so what? where do you proclaim them to be? Oh, just right beneath the magnetosphere. Okay, but is there, gra or like, is there any force like, gra uh, like uh, dragging them down from there? Come again. Like up there where the satellites are? Yeah. Is there any force that is dragging them down? Do you believe of there's course, a force? They're, they're, they're literally made of magnetic uh, elements. That's why they have them tied to balloons. So, so you think all the satellites are tied to balloons? Yes, sir. And no, I don't think I have the video on my page. Oh, okay. Um, uh huh. <laughs> like. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, but this just doesn't make sense. Uh, They're not tied to Mind boggling, isn't it? Mind blown. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope that you get well soon. Seriously. Get you need well, help. Sir. I debunked your world and I have video. Evidence no, you say the satellites are. No, bro, you do not do anything. I'm sorry, but you cannot say the satellites are attached to balloons. Uh, actually, I can. Have you. What can make it through the chaos layer, sir, that have yet to be speculated. So you think space stations are tied to balloons? No, they're just Is in that the correct? upper atmosphere. Not even the actually they're not in the upper atmosphere. They're like literally right literally right below the upper atmosphere. And the uh thermal sphere with a profile. Can you show us the balloons? Like is there like uh Yeah, I got the video on the page. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Yeah. But, like, how, you know how, how like, a balloon, it, it goes flat after a while, right? Uh, these are special balloons, NASA balloons. Oh, oh, oh special yet. balloons. Yeah, NASA balloons. NASA balloons? Yeah. Uh, that's crazy. Okay. I know. Yeah. Okay, okay, so they don't, like, they don't get flat or, like, anything. I uh, know, yeah, they go, they run out of air. And, uh, I have uh, video footage of what happens when they do, too. The satellite okay. is right down. So, people find them, you know that? Yeah, 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 so yeah, um, satellites and space stations they need to be like uh, moved, like to be a certain yeah, part. Yeah, satellite of... has little thrusters on it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> bro. I I'm sorry, but I can't. I'm out. I'm out. Seriously. Oh, okay. I'm out. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Like you're too far gone. I uh, know. You're very too far gone, bro. Very no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You're not. Very you're not. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's see. Anyone else? He thought satellites was going to be his ticket. <laughs> what's what's going on? man? Hey, how you doing, man? Can you prove the Earth is a globe? Hey, I just want to thank you for what you're doing. Oh, yeah, no problem, man. No problem. You know what I'm saying? They out here trying to, I don't know, just hate and troll on me heavily. But it's okay. They can't stop this. Let's just say we're, we're, on, we're on the same team. I uh, appreciate you, bro. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we're, we're on the same team. I just wanted to throw out a few uh, a few pointers to it. You know, you got buoyancy, density, resistance, electromagnetism, stuff. downward magnetic vectors. Yes, sir. And we got things, you know, when we break down, you know, of course, to the atomic level and all that. talk about this gravity or whatever y'all want to talk about huh? 
Hello? Can you hear? Hey, how you doing? How you doing, sir? Uh, yes, can you prove the earth is a globe? Uh, well, yeah, well, actually, I have a question related to that. So, you know how the deeper you get down, um, like, uh, down to earth, right? Uh, you get below certain, um, layers. There's not just the crust, there's also the mantle, and these are all warmer. Am I right? Sir, who's being down lower than eight miles Who, on the earth to know anything? Who's else? being down? I mean, there are probes that, that and they've that they literally have measured the temperature. So if the 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 earth is flat, these suns what heats? Yeah, Sir, yeah. Nothing or no one can go down more than eight miles. So once again, how is what you're saying? Can you look up what the longest? Can you look up what the longest probes are? Seven I'm pretty sure they're miles, sir. Seven point something miles, sir. Nothing can penetrate beyond eight miles. So how can you make bring this claim up and proclaim it to be fact and true? Okay, so how come? Okay, so even if we're talking eight miles, um, where does the heat from the earth come from then? The magma within the earth, sir. Don't we have magma? Any? Okay. Do we have okay? Do we have okay? Yeah, yeah, we do. We do. What keeps the what so, keeps the magma down? Like what keeps it I in didn't place? Create like, the earth, sir. I didn't create the earth. Nobody. Can okay, so, earth, so no one what I don't understand is how can you proclaim something and then don't explain any of the whys? Yeah. Did I create the earth? How can can you in science explain the why, sir? They did create the earth. You gotta make it make sense. Okay, Did so you can't. Okay. One second. One second. Did science create the earth? Uh, no. So can science is the why? study. Sir, can they uh -huh. tell you why? Can they tell me why what? Me, about anything. Can they tell you about why? Can, you asking me? Can, can, you, can you explain why? Because you, you haven't explained question, anything. Yes or no, sir. Can you answer the question? Can science tell you why about the question you are asking me? Yeah, they have said. Yeah, science does explain. It's factual. Did Unlike you, you're just earth? speculating things. Sir, stop, me, bro. Did science create the earth? No, it, it did not. Sense. It's the study. So how about can science it? tell you the why's behind anything on earth if they didn't create it, bro? It can tell more than you. I mean, you, you, you're just sir, you are it going. It makes sense. Well, it's not. About you're not people. making any sense, or, though. Sir, slow down. Seriously, I'm gonna let you down. We're gonna use logic. All right, let me I down. Then it's fucking sir, pointless talking to you, though. Sir, brother, we're gonna use common sense and logic, not feelings. Did science create the earth? So how can science create to tell you the whys behind anything that's happening on Earth? Did they create it? It's it. It's based Did on phenomena and patterns. Earth, no, it sir. didn't. It didn't create it. You're asking the same. You, you're asking the same you question. You don't want to listen. You don't want to listen. Listen and answer. Listen, it's my life. I don't need to listen to you. What are you talking about? I, so, bro, I, I, okay, then don't sir, listen to anybody. Can they tell the behind anything? Yes or no? They can tell the whys, yes. How? When they didn't create it. They, 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 they know, they, they have way more knowledge than know. you. We all do, actually. Sir, Looks do like it. Know, sir, what do they know if they didn't create it? Uh, so, if you don't create anything, if you don't create something, sir, you'll never no understand point, how it works. Point. Since you're trying to listen, yeah. the point is they didn't create it, so they can't tell you why anything here is doing nor does what it do. So what okay. are you saying? So can I can I speak? Because yeah, all your please. you're denying everything. You're denying everything. And I'm telling you, you no. give no wait one second. I'm 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 talking. Uh you give no reasoning behind your statements and theories that you have well they so do they... so you're telling me electromagnetism, electromagnetism doesn't prove anything though it's not like it doesn't it's not it that's so not you don't all that there's to up here sir you're just trying to be argumentative you're not even making sense i'm gonna be honest with you bro what? all right all right all right because science didn't all right, enjoy it. so how can science tell us the whys behind anything I think it's pointless man anything i didn't create the earth I just figured out and know a whole lot of you know lost knowledge. Oh, so how'd you figure out? You didn't you didn't create anything. How'd you figure it out? 
Oh, how, see, that's the only reason. That's all y'all want. That's it. That is so weird and crazy to me. That's it. Well, how? You don't know shit. Everybody want the easy way. You so don't know shit. Thinking. The easy way is the think, easy way is speculating think. like you this are. Is the point. You this think? Is, how about you got no I'm fucking brain to think with? This is why you I'm got no. I'm doing you got bro. nothing. If I don't then how are my right, fuck off. questions? Go fuck yourself. Why are you asking me questions then? Right. I want to keep coming up here. Want to be argumentative? Okay, come on up here and be argumentative. Now I'm gonna just get a couple. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. You um, have any so, problems behind what I'm doing as well? No. So, um, what's your standing point? Do you believe in gravity or no? No, I don't. No. Um, and like, what's one main reason for not believing in gravity? There is no reason for me to believe in gravity. Um, so how would you explain like everything holding together and not just like falling apart? Electromagnetism. So how about like if you rest like rubber, right, on the ground, which is not a conductor of electricity, how does it stay? Where does it come from? Hmm? How is rubber made? It comes from the earth. Oh right, sir, there's your answer. What else? Yeah, but it doesn't have any electricity in what it. What else would you like to bring up, sir? It's not we negative nor answer. positive. Sir, we just got the answer behind that. What else would you like to bring up? I see you also believe that the earth is flat. Yeah. And the moon and the sun is wrong. I didn't create the earth. What else would you like to bring up? <laughs> but you believe it's flat. Because you can't prove gravity exists. And you believe, right, that the sun is spherical and the moon is spherical. Gravity. What do you have behind gravity? Huh? You have nothing, huh? Yeah, I'm telling you. I already told you. <laughs> bro, they duh, bro. Flat Earth is, it's over. I'm about to reboot my life so I can get some real, you feel me? See if we can find look, some scientists. Hey, God, look, I want to jump in this video. Hey. What's that name? <laughs> oh shoot! We need some scientists to get up on here, man. Hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. So you drop an apple, okay? Did you say apple, sir? Yeah, you drop an apple. What runs through apples, sir? Hmm. What runs through apples? That doesn't matter right now. But you drop it out. Those electrons are being attracted down to the ground. What else you got, sir? You drop an apple, falls to the floor. You just got debunked. So, what else you got, sir? So based off of your based off it being flat, how does why does the apple drop to the floor on a flat earth? I didn't create the earth, sir. So that's so you what have no you have? so you have your no apple explanation. Is just debunked. You have no explanation. Why not mean? believe? Something that has been studied way longer than I'd Black rather Earth. I'd rather have hope in my Father God than when I was when I, when people were cavemen. People believe I'd rather have hope in my Father cavemen. God than your gravity. No one can prove cavemen. I'd rather have hope in Father God than your gravity. No one can prove cavemen. Cavemen. What does that have to do with gravity? Cavemen believed the Earth was flat because it was all they could see. Cavemen never but now when we, we have the actual whole history thing. timeline of America. When we have Cavemen actual things, existed. we send it up into space. We send things up into space, like James Webb telescope. We see, we see galaxies. We see a black hole being orbited by a whole bunch of stars. We see galaxies don't taken by black that. Holes are theoreticals. We see stuff orbiting around that. Black that's holes gravity are the right there. Concept. We orbit around the sun. That's gravity right there. The moon orbit around the earth. That's gravity right there. Sir, no one's ever made it out of the magnetosphere. And how do you prove that? Why? You say balloons? How do I prove it? You, would you like? To, would you like to hear what the magnetosphere is? Yeah, but I want to see your definition of it. Come again. I want to see your definition of it. Uh, it's not my definition. It's NASA.gov's definition. 
magnetosphere, region of the upper atmosphere, extending out thousands of miles, dominated of Earth's magnetic field, so that the charged particles are trapped in. Okay, so, so you don't believe we ever sent what made it out, who made it out, and who witnessed and said and seen that the sun is proclaimed and supposedly out there in space. So you huh? don't believe we've ever sent anything to Mars ever. Um, sir, I just read from NASA.gov. I'm not about to play with y'all no more. Did you hear what I read or no? You said thousands of miles. We've sent did you hear what I read thousands or no? of miles. Sir, did you hear? Of miles. Did you hear? All right, say it again. So you didn't hear? I did hear. You, you said down. thousands You're not of even miles. Listening. You want to be argumentative. Y'all about to get this work now. Let's play. No more games, y'all. Come on. What's going on? What's going on, sir? Uh, what, what's well, made good. out into y'all proclaimed space? I just want what? to ask you a question. Adam, I'm asking you a question. Answer. Why do you say that those two sons? Yeah, dig. Yeah, we ain't playing with them no more. What made it out into y'all proclaimed space? Yo. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. How are you today? I am awesome, sir. What has made it out into your proclaimed space? Okay. So, I just wanted to find out what was the other son's name. You said there was two sons. All right. How you doing, sir? What has made it out into your proclaimed space? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm on. How you doing? Uh, thanks I'm for great. having me. I'm great. I'm great, man. What has made it out into you guys' proclaimed space? So I, I was... Okay, I don't know if I have an answer for that, because um, I'm not sure. But I, I was curious if you'd uh, heard of that, about the lead ball experiments conducted in 1978. Where did them? Where are them Which, balls from? Where did they? Where did they get the materials? They, where did they get the materials yes, so, to create them balls? Well, no, no, no. It's it's a does gravity exist? Uh, right. Where answer. did they get? The I, I was trying to answer to create them balls. That's a good question. I imagine they mined the lead, but from uh, the earth, right? Anyways, they came from sure. the earth. So what yeah. does that mean? Okay, are you are you familiar with the experiment? What does that mean? Uh, it means that it came from the Earth. So that means that dumb objects are literally magnetic to a certain extent. Well, they're lead, and lead's non-magnetic. That's why they use lead. There's actually more land spans beyond the ice walls that hold other elements. So. Okay. I, I'm just yes. curious if you if you happen to be familiar with this experiment, because your question says yes, does I gravity am, exist, and I just, I just debunked uh, it right just, here by you just mentioning it. So. What, is, what else is there to, meant to speak upon it? Well, it just demonstrates that objects with mass are attracted to other objects with mass. I'm going to let you down now. Next guess. Let's see what they got. That was literally debunked right there. Why, why, what's the point of continuing on? Oh, what's the point? Let's bring up something next. I mean, it's, I mean, it's common sense. Moderators. Mute block all the trolls. I don't know what's going on. Uh -huh. Mute and block the trolls. I'm Hello? Nobody, I ain't seen on my lives before a moderator. What? Paulo, what's going on, sir? Everything good, sir? All right, all right. Uh, can you prove to uh, us what's made it out into space? I'm sorry for my uh, bad English, but I'm, tr I'm going to try to do my best. So, going back to the early beginnings of Earth, so the planets itself forms when uh, <clears throat> the ma a material in space starts to... Hello. Yes? Hello. How, how old are you? 21. Okay, okay. Uh, why do I look younger? 
you sound you sound a little younger. Oh. So they, they start to uh, bump together, so they create more and more mass, and that's what uh, attracts other things, and that's gravity. So if gravity doesn't exist, how do we weight ourselves? How do we calculate so you, our weight? You said it's through mass, right, sir? So what what mass are you specifically talking about? Uh, the um, literally weight weight is equals to mass times uh, the gravity force. So there is nothing exactly. You just have an equation, okay, sir? Can yes. you give me gravity existence in more in one in more than one form? A Uh Yes, in the form um, which calculates the force uh, uh, between uh, the um, the force that planets um, two planets they attract themselves so that force if you want to, cal to calculate that force we need the um, that equation i don't i don't know it but uh, yeah okay sir so you oh. say they attract themselves the mass okay mm -hmm. what elements are inside this mass that are gravitomagnetized to attract anything through gravity um it's the um, the elements really don't uh, do anything. It's just mass. Great, the greater the mass, the more force uh, they attract. And where does your gravity get its energy from? Because if it doesn't have gravitomagnetized, you know, if it's not gravitomagnetized, sir, it doesn't have energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have an element so, to so the, derive energy from so and for it yeah. to have any effect or actions. Yeah, so the gravity comes from the the mass of the of the Earth, the the Earth's mass creates gravity. Right, so that. imagine, um, right, uh, you imagine, you imagine that. you. Yes, you said I'm that, sorry. sir. Where is the gravitational magnetized item? I'm sorry, I I didn't understand your question. Oh yes, I'm saying you already said that. Um, can can we locate yes. the gravitational magnetized item? I really don't understand what what you're asking me. I'm sorry. I, I'm not English, but oh, okay. I'm gonna move on to the yeah, but yes, yeah, bro. Just one more thing. I don't get how y'all still. Never mind. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Can you prove gravity exists? Yo, so yeah, um. Can you explain why the clouds are not attracted to the earth? And why do steam go up instead of down? Evaporation of water. The same reason why the clouds the are flat underneath. So, and also, um, I hear you believe in God, but you also believe in a flat earth. Is that true? Okay. But in the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 22, my father the Bible is declares no that God... My father is no religion. Well, I believe in God as well. And God yeah, says he's that not, he's, he's not Muslim, the nor is he, he's not Quran, the, nor is he Christian, so... I didn't say he was. I didn't say he was a religion. I, I believe in I'm God. I'm letting you know because you just tried to read off into a book to me. So, so to if, you can't, if, if you can't explain why... The clouds or the steams are not attracted I to the earth. I just told you, sir, the same reason why the clouds are flat underneath. But they are above us, not underneath us. Why are they flat underneath us? When they, I mean, underneath. They are not underneath us. So Can I you walk outside why are and look up? The clouds flat underneath them. Why is it flat beneath the clouds? Why? Well, why are up, they attracted above. to the earth? Why are you can't answer puffy, that question. Why are clouds puffy above and flat underneath? Yes, exactly. Good point. Above. Do you know why? So if they're a lot, if, if we're dealing with electromagnetism, sir, do you know why they should be attracted to the Earth? So do you know why they are like that? That that's the reason why See, they're not attracted. I don't to know the why because I didn't create them. Okay, so words, you should brother. go look. So okay, you have homework to do, sir. Go do your homework. <laughs> you need homework, bro. Go do your homework. Go figure out what I just told you. Hey, hello. Yeah, hello. Yes, yes. How you doing? Uh, do you have any proof for us behind gravity? Um, 
I don't, I don't want to talk about I don't want to talk about the whole gravity um gravity shit. Um, I wanted to talk about like the flat Earth. Sir, we're trying. I'm out here holding the Bates flat Earth versus globe Earth. Why would you get in my box? You see my title. I mean the whole. So when you talk about gravity, right? You can't say gravity does not exist if if you solely say you believe in God, right? You can't say gravity doesn't exist. And if you speak about electromagnetism, mag right? You speak about electromagnetic. If you speak about electromagnetic field, right? Sir, I'm going to let you down. Earth since produces, you don't have a lot let me of talk. Let me talk. If you speak I'll about you electromagnetic hey, energy that Earth produces. Off my life, boy. What's wrong with y'all? You don't try to tell me what I can do and can't do. Wait, what? You gotta be kidding me. Hey, man. How you doing, man? How you doing? You want to have a logical conversation? I mean, I would like to, but it seems like anytime somebody starts trying to give up valid yeah, points, you just kick them out. Don't come up with negativity, sir. If you do, I will let you down immediately. Everybody else in the box, you come up trying to just bring negative, negative energy onto my live, I'm going to let you down. I'll let you know that now. So do you have I'm just proof, pointing out a pattern. I will let you down, sir. Okay. You're all trolls. You're all working together. You think we don't know? No, like, and I've Hi. No, hey, how you doing? Would you like to present I'm any evidence behind the globe Earth? Um, basically, let's just think about it. How old it. are you? In, um, how old are I'm you? Old. How old? I'm 18. I'm 18. Right. You're not old, though. 18. Yeah, I was just saying you're not. All old. right. Well, I guess um basically Okay, great. Got it. Um basically, you know when you go to the moon, right? You know how there was like that whole moon landing thing, right? Yeah, the moon is in our local atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Great. So, when you see like the videos of the people on the moon, are they yeah, walking the straight on the moon technology. or are they going up and down? They went to the moon with floppy disk technology. Well, obviously, how did they yeah, okay, well, I, I understand your point here, but you know that's only four um, megabytes. I, thought, I thought we were talking about gravity. You know that's only four megabytes of memory. All right, well, yes. okay, well, basically, you see, like, the videos of people on the moon. Supposedly, they did go to the moon. They're wow. floating in the air, right? But it's only four megabytes. Because memory. there is no gravity on the moon. There's less I'll, gravity I'll on there. the moon. I make it there before. Never mind, go ahead. And do you know the shit they use at the power of a Game Boy huh? Advance? Go ahead, though. All right. Well, then, Yeah. let's just say we're on Earth, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so we're standing still. Yes? Yeah. And we're not floating, right? Due to electric Great. Magnetism. And then if we were on the moon... Uh-huh. If we were on the moon... If we tried to stand still, yeah, we would start floating, right? Because there's less gravity on the moon, yeah? No, the moon is in our local atmosphere. That wouldn't happen. Okay, well, let's say we were on the moon, right? Okay, so um, I, I got a yeah? question for you. No, I have a question for you since you want to keep No, I'm, I'm actually asking you something. Let me no, ask you something just really quick. Miss, who's made it through the magnetic No, sphere? I'm actually... Let's make it to the moon. Who oh my goodness! To to make it to the Is it because I'm a woman? No, we just gotta Girl. make it make sense. That's don't use that card on my life. Okay, basically, in my okay. Miss, well, who's made it um, through the would you like to like state your point? Um, did you hear me? Who made it through the magnetosphere? Oh, what? Hello. Are you there? I thought we were asking. The question, yes, does I'm gravity exist, you, though? You made it through the magnetosphere because you're talking about the moon. Well, that's not asking if gravity exists, though. Okay, so you just want to be argumentative. No, that's no, no, that's like, not what I'm saying. Life, like, right? I'm just, like, a bit... Trying to play the female card and... Um, no, I'm just, like, confused. I, I thought we were I, talking about gravity, I, not... I know you're confused because I figured you out. Huh? Girl... Yeah. Okay, um, listen, so listen. Miss, who listen. made it through the magnetosphere? At school, at school. Miss, stop talking. At listen. school. 
We hey. learn about gravity, right? Okay, have a great day. You know, I want to talk and be logical. You do. Be logical or not. Who made it through the yeah, magnetosphere? Yeah, I do want to be logical. That's what I'm trying to do. Who made it through the magnetosphere? But that doesn't relate to what gravity is. It relates to the moon in your own Girl. world. So, who made it through? What trying to? What point are you trying to prove by asking that, though? Because you just you was mentioning the moon earlier, so I'm asking who made it through the magnetospheres for you to constantly be trying to bring that up. They say you're 16. Gotta go. Hey, how you doing? You I'm good, and you? Evidence behind your globe Earth belief. Uh, yeah. So you said there's the local uh, sphere and then the magnetosphere. Yes, sir. Who's made it through the magnetosphere for you to proclaim anything about space? Hey, Y'all stay mad. Um, I didn't call, proclaim about anything about space yet, but um. It is first the magnetosphere and then the local. All right, all right. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing today, man? Not bad, not bad, sir. Uh, did you have any evidence behind the globe? Well, the, the, the basic thing I had want to say and not make anything else, anybody else sound like they're not speaking the truth or you're not speaking the truth. The only thing I had want to say is that when it comes to the flat earth, yes, there is a flat earth. Imagine looking into the earth uh, through a snow globe. And if you see. Trying to prove something. Hey, how you doing, sir? You have any evidence behind the globe? Hello, how are you doing? I have evidence. All right, let's the go. Gravity, huh? The gravity is in your mind, you know. You are in a flat earth. Because... I'm going to have to reboot the lot. We're just getting all the trolls. Nobody really want to come in here and talk no science. Hello? You doing, sir? Can you uh, present the globe earth through science? Yeah, so, uh, okay, so you are correct, but that bitch Jasmine that was on here is flat as fuck, bro. She flat. <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro. <laughs> How you doing? What's going on, man? Uh, not much, not much, sir. Can you prove the globe? Huh? Can you prove the Earth is a globe? I tried to. Okay. But I think it's flat, bro. You say you think it's flat? Yeah. That's what's up, man. All the way. Hey, man, what's going on, man? How, how you, hey, man, this is Prove the Curve 5, bro. How you been? I got banned last night for, for telling the truth. You know how it is. Huh? <laughs> how you been? <laughs> I'll be a great, bruh. I'm about to take a little break, give me something to snack on, y'all. All right, so basically, right, I can I can tell you that gravity exists. Okay. So basically, right, when you jump, you know, the thing that's pulling you down, it's the moon, bro. Like, the sun, it got gravity. That's How? what... How? That's what basically, like... The sun oh. does have gravity, right? And it oh. pulls everything in. <laughs> y'all be just talking, bro. What's up, bro? Y'all, 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 y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what that's what makes the the ocean, bro. The waves, the the moon, bro. The moon, <laughs> bro. The moon, it be like it be pulling in. So that's how you get the okay. waves. Yeah. What else? So when you jump, it pulls you down. That's that. That's the sun. The, the yeah, sun. that's. that's... <laughs> 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 
you will be unalive, sir. The sun, <laughs> if the sun is pulling on you, oh no, man. I don't want to go that way. Nah, not right now, y'all talking about. Sheesh. My boy said that's the sun. He's, oh, shoot. If the sun is attracting you upward, yeah, you know, it's, uh, you did something very wrong, I tell you that much. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, man? You have any proof for us behind the globe today? Yeah, man, bro. Uh, a little bit. Hello? Can't hear you, man. Let's see, man. Oh, boy. I got a question for you. Yeah. If, it, if an orangutan what? can find the energy... To find gravity, how many bananas can you grow off a banana tree? <laughs> I love you, man. You're funny, bro. <laughs> Have a good day, man. <laughs> oh, <Charles. laughs> hey, man. T- take you care. Good out there, bro. Oh, I will, man. God, bro, you job. you got me going so many times, bro. I'm I'm dying here. All right. <laughs> take care, my friend. <laughs> I have no clue. I don't even know the answer, bro. You be careful out there. Sheesh. He said, how many bananas? Oh, hey, how you doing? Wait, what? what? That's a cold name, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just go make this account purposely to come up here? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sun has gravity because when my dog eats noodles, it poops noodles. And the noodles huh? come. <laughs> the sun has gravity because when I eat noodles, it slips down. It slips. It slips down my stomach. How are we alive, sir? <laughs> we are. <laughs> we are here. Because the moon has a waterfall down to earth and gives us water. What? <laughs> bruh. Y'all hilarious, bruh. Come on. Oh, my God. How, how you doing? Hello, good night. I said to you, gravity is on your mind. Understand? Is it on your mind? Don't laugh at me. Yeah, ma. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Free your mind. <laughs> you right to fine because they just want you to believe it. You, you right. You're, you're not lying though. You be not lying. Yeah, I give up. Um, Let the gravity. Yeah. Let okay. the gravity. No, you place. Let the gravity blood. You blow. <laughs> Yeah. Bruh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn, you're actually a cool person. People are, are delusional. People are delusional. <laughs> oh, I love you all, man. I'm laughing up everybody right now. You jump in the box. It's Gucci. God bless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now, now let's talk. Huh? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Can, can, can you explain something to me? Uh, can, can you explain something to me really quick? Um, why sometimes is the moon different shapes? Oh, I didn't create the moon. I don't know why. But if the sun and the moon are directly in front of each other, they uh-huh. should be always the same size. Is, oh, did you make them? Did you make them? Uh, and they're having a problem. Um, Man, so your picture, playing, bro. your your your, your yeah. picture behind you that you are trying to prove so uh-huh. called has the the moon and the sun directly. No, I'm not trying to order. prove this picture. This is just for perspective. Oh, okay. I see. That actually makes sense. But also, um, you said bro, the moon things, people bro. people yeah. on the moon because they were only using four megs of space. <laughs> you don't know if they. You said people, people on the moon. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, who made it through the magnetosphere. But the moon is in the magnetosphere, according oh. to NASA, according oh, to what? NASA.gov. Hmm? I, um, well, I haven't read that part. Uh, I got a question well, for you. Maybe you should check your facts a little bit uh, first, because the oh, moon is yeah. in the magnetosphere, Dude, and people have talking? made it so to confused. the moon. So, uh, do you know the magnetosphere is the reason of the uh, upper atmosphere really extended play, thousands bro. of miles dam- dominated the Earth's magnetic field? 100%, so, yeah. I knew that. 100%. Okay. Now, if you look, the moon yeah. is in the magnetosphere. I ain't come on here to joke, bro. Okay. Yeah, what'd you say? Yeah, the moon is in the magnetosphere, and if yeah, that's somebody else say something real quick. Okay, what'd you okay. Say? What'd you say? I ain't come mm-hmm. on here to joke. This man came on here to play, bro. I ain't come on here to play. Oh, okay. Well, okay. So, so you check this out. You remember? Yeah. You remember I told? Listen, listen, listen. Yeah. You remember, you remember awesome. I told you you can buy gravity, but they was yeah. out of it. Uh huh. It's back on the market. So I told you I was gonna come back to your live when they get some more. That way you can get on your shit. So now I, know, I already know about that compound, sir. You what? I know about that compound they they made that solution. <laughs> so why you ain't, ain't, why you ain't get none? So why you ain't got none? Why, why got you don't them? have gravity? So what, what, <laughs> what about these uh, four? <laughs> <laughs> Man, see y'all out here laughing. Yo, Mr. Ross. Thank you, this a game, bro. This is serious business, bro. Oh. Bro, I can't hear anything. There's people echoing. My live is echoing. Oh, for real? Oh. Bro, we got the echo. Yeah, you got the echo? He talking about how much is a kilo, bro. These oh, real, can I come bro. back? Hey. Can you, invo- can you uh, add me back Everybody if I come back? Everybody pinch in, bro. Everybody pinch in, bro. <laughs> Drop the cash out. Everybody pinch in. <laughs> My dog's is a neighbor got Check hit by a car. Mal- bro, how much was a zip of gravity? All that hee hee ha ha, bro. I, I bro, ain't coming much, to play, bro. I'm speaking real fake. I'm not laughing. I'm not joking. I ain't coming. Bro, how much was a hate the gravity, bro? Man, send me the money, bro. Oh, you gonna send me that gravity? How long is it gonna take? I don't like to wait too long for my gravity. You playing? It ain't. It ain't sending. Take the five I'm trying to see who I don't I don't like who no need it, so I can bro. order it for the next load. The shit ain't okay. just gonna come for everybody, bro. You playing? Right, look, everybody about to tap in, bro. Everybody wants to hate for gravity. You hear me? <laughs> 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 oh my god, bro. How oh. much them gravity? Yeah. How much you said in them gravity? So how much is it though? Like it depends on how long you want it to last or how much force do you want me to hold down. If you send me your mask, I can show you the price. I want you to hold down my fat ass girlfriend. Well, that is uh, a whole alert to my whole what the heck? All right. But, so, yeah. let me try uh, to grab a uh, Yeah, so you were saying, yeah, how much is it, though, bro? Bro, you still there? Say what? How much will, how much will, how much will pound of gravity? Bro, you <laughs> being funny. You, you they won't say y'all gay. all that hee hee ha ha. I'm just gas. Don't you hear me, real, man. bro? Y'all, bro, listen. Bro, is it that Zaza gas? With me, bro. Like, I, bro, I, I is it Zaza <laughs> gas? Bro, I saved is a lot Zaza of people. Gravity? Bro, I, huh? I saved a lot of people with this method, bro. I didn't come here to play. I came to save lives, bro. That's what I'm here for. I don't play no games, bro. I don't laugh and all that hee hee ha ha shit. Why are you going to laugh, man? I think you're actually referring to the ozone they're actually out here selling to people. Are you referring to the ozone? Hey, my guy, you got 1.2K nope. viewers yeah. on this place. You actually yeah, did gravity exist. Usual. And I told this you, gravity only exists. We need to hit the 2,000s and 3,000s. You know, we got to hit bro, the 5,000 people, view mark, people y'all. People are running out of gravity, bro. Coming yet, sir. Uh, yeah, I was wondering, bro. Hey, no, for real though, how much was just like a a quarter? 
in a bag. Four bro, lines. You people snippy. are it's, running out of gravity and you playing. Bro, how much for a code of gravity, though? How much How much for a code of gravity? You said I can, we buy it. We can buy it. I'm just, how much for a code of it, though? I just need a code of Bro, dollar sign, get gravity. Where? where? Who? <laughs> Dollar sign, get gravity. <laughs> Wait, where can I buy this gravity again, sir? Uh, from the magnetational pole. From I'm going to get it for you. I'm telling you, just generate. send the money. I ran out of gravity. I ain't got no more, bro. I need I need this other call. I just need a little quarter of gravity. You know what I'm talking about? Wait, wait, wait. How, how do you use the gravity once you buy it? Yes. What do you, you What do you actually do with it? How do we? Uh, you know. How, what What do I do, man? <laughs> do I just spray? Okay. When you get it, you gotta yeah. spread it. Like, okay. Let's just say, for instance, if you if you ran out of gravity at, at your home, once you spread mm -hmm. around that whole perimeter, the gravitational like what, pull. Bro, what happens if you run out of gravity at home? It's gonna hold you down. But listen, bro, though. Listen, right. Though. So if you run out of gravity I'm at home, what happens? You, your house float once away. You buy it, bro. Bro, 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 listen, bro. Listen, oh. bro, once you buy it and put it at home, you don't run out of it. It picks up off. Okay, let's say if you got gravity and your neighbor got gravity, it's going to connect and the whole neighborhood is going to get gravity. You see what I'm saying? Like, you got to have it. Man, you playing, bro. No, yeah, hey, bro. Bro. So, bro, hey, bro, but wait. What if I run out? Like, I, So if my neighbor run out, they, I, I just float away? Then y'all order some more. But oh, I'm saying, yeah. like, in the meantime, that we don't have none, we just float. Towards the ne mm -hmm. next. Yeah, huh? you'll be like that motherfucking app up movie. I was just wondering. Yeah, I'm gonna I, be okay. floating though. So in the meantime, while I'm waiting on the order to come. Yeah, for some random reason that uh, you grab sand, that, bro. So you know, how long will it take for the order to hit? How long do I gotta float? Huh? Three to five walking days. I ain't well, never ran out of no gravity. Your spirit floats. Like I don't know what you're talking about, my guy. Huh? Yeah, this is all due to electromagnetism, man. What are you talking about buying some gravity? Boy, I ain't never bought no gravity. I had to buy no gravity. Gravity in the can ain't, nothing, ain't got nothing to do with my life. You hear me? That's just for the gravity experiments. So what, what, what are you talking about? I know they can buy it. You know, I know, I know we got you ozone in the can, though, now. Can. You know, ozone it will heal y'all. I'm not playing. They got this new stuff, y'all, called ozone. It's a new, new. It's a it's um, a new it's a gaseous study. Body this is a whole new field of medicine. No game. They call it ozone therapy. Now you can buy this. And it's highly expensive. They call this ozone therapy. Heals everything in the body. They're literally using the ozone layer from the sky. Well, actually, no. You use high voltage in a closed atmosphere in which you generate O3. O3 binding to O2. And where does you all that to, come from? Yeah. You know, Ozone comes well. Ozone atmosphere, uses like water. I said. Uh, you go. Yeah. Wait, Jay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Where uh, about is the ozone? Yeah. No. Passing through. Where, where, where about is the ozone? So, so, sorry, so hey, bro. Before I get down, down. Last call. Hmm? Last call before I place this order. Do anybody uh, need gravity? Your own ozone at home. Which yeah. is hey, do wild. anybody need some gravity? He uh, got the hook up. Yes. Water treatment method because it's effectiveness is actually yes, short. Yes, but brother got the hook up on gravity. Who needs some gravity? Things in water. The box is the ozone. Gravity is the measurement of the magnetational pull of astrological bodies that have a large mass, as or and other sir, items. What, what, sir, what element? What element is inside of this mass that is actually gravitomagnetized for um, gravity to all, have any pretty effect? Pretty much all, pretty much all metals. You know, some of that gravity. Pull. On a magnetation. Level. I'll take a quarter of that gravity. So I'll so, just let you know. So, uh, you two, said, so you're telling four. us gravitomagnetism is, is actually what in I existence? What I tell you is that there's a magnetational field created in the battery of the apparatus in which you're viewing all of us and talking to us currently. That gravity. So can you field, point us in the direction of gravitomagnetism, everything you just said? Gravitomagnetism. doctrine. I'm trying to explain gravity. It's going to cut me off in the middle of what I'm saying. That's fine. I'm trying to get. Work on yeah, because... sir, we've all heard that all before. Can you point us in the direction of gravitomagnetism where everything you're saying is just a claim? Brother, you're trying to give me a good question. Do you want to... I can't hear what you're saying, sir. can't even really hear what you're saying, sir. 
Yes, yeah, sir. Anybody that believes in gravity well, yeah, back find what I was the direction saying, of gravitomagnetism. Or, uh, your stories you know don't need to be heard. I don't. We don't need the stories. We heard enough. Yo, check it. So everybody talks about this gravitational pull from the core of the Earth. Ain't nobody better than the core of the Earth. Ain't no equipment better than the core of the Earth. You know what's going down there? Gravity is just another word for buoyancy, bro. I don't float because I'm heavy, just like water. You stick something in the water and it sinks. Shit ain't no gravity. It's just another word they made up to do some equation to make some other shit work scientifically. Gravity is a theory. Bro, Google you that only shit. Say it. You add a gravity. Look, y'all, I'm back, man. I'm about to end my live. I'm going to take me a little break. Give me something to snack on the thing. You only say it. You add a gravity. I'm real. I do me a favor right now. Take the phone. Start, y'all. Google is gravity a theory. I better read it to me. Listen, hey, all my followers. He gets some of that gravity from the graphic. Hey, hey. Hey man, wait, Yo. he's trying to talk. Bro, KHF dollar sign. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm trying to say something here. Yeah? Yeah. You know. Y'all, we're going to be right back. You know what I'm talking about? We are going to take a brief intermission. Everybody go have you a little uh, snack break. You know what I'm talking about? Go have you a little lunch, whatever you want. Get you something in your stomach and your belly and things because the show will continue on. You hear me, man? Yeah, we're going to get to the bottom of this. No more of they shenanigans. They ain't about to just be talking and saying whatever they want to be saying, focusing on electromagnetism. No. Talk about gravity. We are flat earthers. This is what we want to know in here. Why y'all so focused on our electromagnetism? You have nothing? Y'all have nothing. That's why. Literally. I need to get some more mods on here too, man. I'm gonna have to get some more mods, bro. They coming in and uh, they coming in in waves. Maybe like 500 trolls in this bitty, man. I'll be having 500 ops on me at one time on this bitty, man. <laughs> if they see me in real life, it wouldn't be nothing but handshakes and hugs. People crazy. Y'all know that? Hey, how you? Hey, Mr. Lost Knowledge. Hey, what's going on? Well, hey. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's all it'll be. Promise you. That's it. You want to be a mod? My, okay, okay, yeah, I'm a mod, y'all, bro. I ain't gonna even lie, bro. You feel me? Y'all been around on mamas. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make y'all mods on Cetus. Yeah, my boy knew now y'all on mamas, bruh. You been rocking with me from the beginning. No game. On Cetus, on Cetus. All my people, I've been, man, I've seen. Yeah, y'all mods now. Believe this. You feel me? Yeah, anybody I've seen rocking with me, man, from the beginning. Yeah, I know. I can trust you. You know what I'm talking about? I can trust y'all. Y'all going to help out. Y'all gonna be back. We gonna get it back running and going, man. Yeah, all you trolls. Oh, we y'all about to be <laughs> y'all about to be getting kicked left and right. Y'all about to be big mad. I'm gonna be back, y'all. Be careful for the meantime, man. Peace, love, and harmony to everybody.